Hiya! Sup, Blind Goomba. <laughs> I technically play a different game in the evening, but um, I didn't play Arcade Spirits earlier today, so I thought I'd play some more of it in the evening and hopefully finish it, either today or a different day. If I'm really close to finishing, I will probably play it on a different day than usual. But, beach day! How is everyone? At least I think it's beach day. They mentioned something <laughs> about going to the beach. I just remember that much when I was last playing it. There we go. Oh, I need to stretch. <sighs> Alright, I'm good. <laughs> I just needed to stretch. I will probably stretch again in a bit. I'm okay waking up. Oh, sorry. I'm pretty good. Um, I've had a pretty good gay that. Why do I keep saying gay? I mean day. Can't think straight. Um, I may be only slightly ang ang anxious about tomorrow because um, I have to do some stuff tomorrow. It's mostly going to be like setting up and stuff like that. A pretty good gay, huh? Damn right. <laughs> it's how it be. I've also got to take a shower later. So i got to get through this game. Well, I don't want to rush it, but... Can't think straight indeed. <laughs> I'm happy you noticed that. I always say that and it's like, it's an inside joke though. Uh, and romance is in the air. At least romance will be in the air. Iris has anything to say about it. Iris has got her back. She's a sweet AI. I'm not actually in that uh, glorious 20 something neon metropolis today. I'm in about 134.7 uh, miles south of it. At the beach. That's much better. <gasps> Jupiter! Uh, I smell, smell the sea salt, the salty ta water taffy, the baking hot sands. Iris is the AI overlord we need. <laughs> yes. Let's eat cake! Ah, oh, now I'm in the mood for cake, but I'm having cake tomorrow! I actually get to have some cake tomorrow, which I'm quite happy about because we have a cake in the house and I know we're eating it tomorrow. Just like I remember. The only thing I worry about is like she's wearing like cute um, tights or stockings and I don't want her to get sand in that. <laughs> I've never been to the Fault Sand Beach before Jupiter. But it's just like I remember with you remembering it was then. Definitely. This is definitely one of the, my better ideas. Top 10, maybe top 5 ideas. What a fantastic way to celebrate your success at the Funplex. Yay! As a reward for your hard work, we return to the beach where you first played Weather uh, Keep, where your family spent their summer vacations. Oh, how sentimental my heart. I can't. <laughs> I feel the need to say something pitchy and dismissive in her face for unrelating. Uh, unrelated cheer, but to be honest, I'm definitely smiling. Aww. Jupiter knows. This place holds so many dear memories for me before my parents lost their jobs and we began the downward spiral of bad luck, uh, bad family luck. We love coming to Folsom Beach and coming back here for sure is a treat. Yes! <laughs> this place is great. Sand and sea and the boardwalk. Oh look at that bunny! I want that bunny! Oh there's a pe oh there's a movie penguin I think. Yoshi's pizza. Stinks fried dogs. I wanna try some Yoshi's pizza. That place looks cool though. All those little shops and the best fried food the east coast can provide and arcades are plenty and seashells and airbrush t-shirts pla uh, and plastic 
sunglass and I want to see it all. I want to do it all. Gara is the mood. I think you're more excited about this than I am, Jupiter. <laughs> I mean, that would be f super fun. You're excited too. Don't deny it, Hawk. Later. Okay, I'm gonna get changed into my swimsuit before the others get back. Be right back. <gasps> is everyone gonna have a cool beach outfit? Yes. Yeah, let's go eat with Goober. You guys get some snacks. I hold on down the fort. Uh, fort on the beach. Other the three. That was the second part of Jupiter's plan C that this wasn't just the treat for me but for everybody associated with the fun flex. Uh, don't eat me. <laughs> poisonous. <laughs> for some reason I thought like a poisonous frog. Like that you're super colourful. Um, We'd have to drive down here in groups and pay for our own hotel rooms to keep costs down but soon enough Saturday outing for all the staff and VIPs had become a reality. It was really sweet of her to include everyone on, in on the trip too. We worked hard to make the Funplex Fun Zone a success. I certainly couldn't have done it without help from my friends. Oh, Within the next hour there'd be nine of us bouncing around in swimsuits making sandcastles and buying cheap souvenirs and playing seaside arcades games. <laughs> Don't om nom nom Gooba! No! <laughs> the Gooba must live! Oh, I imagine like Francine is probably just gonna take a nap <laughs> on the beach. No. Uh, Mates don't work properly right now for me. I have to reload it. I did add the yeah I added some emotes the FFZ emotes. They look super cute. I just went for all the cute ones <laughs> and of course the trans ghost but I just went with all the cute ones because they're so I just love them. There were so many cute ones. And hopefully not exactly accidentally drowning in the uh, riptides as my inner lifeguard felt need, <laughs> need to warn. <laughs> or at least we're trained if anyone has any issues. One day of fun in the sun for everyone. As for this evening... Beep, beep. <gasps> Look, well, Iris has other plans for me. Well? Well? Have you decided yet? Have you? I love this. Also, if anyone wants me to close my window if there's like background noise, just tell me. Time's running out, you know. With a sigh, I pulled out my phone, summoning my digital Juan. Ah, oh, I love this like screenshot because I love the way Iris looks. I love it so much. Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Only because I know like my mic probably won't pick it up, but like. I can hear stuff. It's the same with like my fan and like my computer. If each any of them make noise, like I can hear it, but there's no there's not a big chance that my microphone will pick it up. And why is time running out exactly? I run the numbers and calculated a ninety nine point ninety seven percent chance of romantic success. If you take your special someone on a moonlit seaside stroll. Iris is setting us up. She's setting us up. <laughs> I mean, she is like the like perfect assistant, assistant, and like she's great at planning everything. But like, oh, that's so nerve wracking. It's the perfect confluence of all projected event vectors that will lead you to love and happiness. I mean, that's also just you know hanging out with a special someone. Romance is in the air. Right now, Loy, I feel is slightly overheated. I need to go change. Yep. Yes! Yes! Good! Put on your <laughs> sexy swimwear! It'll improve my projections. I love the voice actress for Iris. I love this. It's going on and on about 
this ever since finding out about the beach trip. Or is why the sudden obsession with finding me a special someone anyway? I've turned my life around, I found a job, I found a dream even. To make something of the funplex, to let it grow, uh, grow and shine. You've done well helping me with that. I quite like that like this romance novel is more about like finding your own way and like your own success so it's not just like oh you have to romance someone like you're also like role playing through your life more because I know some romance games is like um background story just doesn't really matter and it's like a lot weaker but like the story a rule for this is like really really good and like I'm just so invested in it and I think they did a really good job with that but <laughs> this is definitely setting us up this is the happiest I've been in years, honestly. Thank you. Thank you. You did so good, Iris. So Mari was set up by trying to to date one of my co-workers or one of the regulars. Remember the day I joined the Funplex? I told you I wanted to stay focused and play it cool. Avoid even thinking of my co-workers that way. I mean it did start off with us trying to play it cool, but we not that cool. We have a crush on like almost everyone. It feels like a recipe for disaster. Disaster or delight. Iris knows. She gets it. Well, okay. you've spent weeks getting to know uh, these people. You've been, you've even taken a few of them out to lunch. Maybe you didn't think of it as a date, but but maybe they felt differently. Exactly. I like that like even the beginning as well it gives you the decision to like stay more focused on the job and like the roleplay as aspect rather than like the dating aspect and then this is like this is also like just the decision thing it's not like pressuring you I just think it's cool when games like give you a different option. Uh, what if I make things awkward for everyone? What if I can't decide who to approach? What if I'm just not ready to start dating again? Yeah, what if it makes things awkward for everyone? I'm already super close to all these people, closer than I thought I'd be when I first took the job. Actually, who who are we closest to? I oh, we're, we're doing pretty good. I'm sorry, Ashley. <laughs> I will do her route as well. Yeah, whether you are or just don't want to indulge in the romance aspect, there's still op options. It's good. Yeah, I really like that. I know there's like another game. Uh, I remember it being free, and like you could romance people, but like if you didn't want to sleep with them or do like sexual stuff, you could just say no and like any point during the cutscene you could say no this is too much for me or like straight away be like nah I don't want to do that I just want to like hang out with you and have a nice evening and there's like an alternative um an alternative to like a sex scene it's an alternative thing where it's like you can just hang out with them and play games and like it's really really cute and I loved it I really I love when games do this option where it's like you don't have to romance someone, you can just enjoy the game. I don't know, I just love this game now. <laughs> I just really love it. Do I really want to rock the boat by flirting with a friend like that? Uh, the warmest heart hearts can be found first in friendship, I say. You already know these people, you take care of them. Hawk, don't deny it. And I'm thinking they can take care of for you too. Uh, do you remember what the game was called? It was it was about like succ uh, succubus and incubus so it was demon something. Mm. <laughs> Crap I can't remember it right now. It also had like the I think it was mostly guys and there was like one girl option. When you play more Oblivion, I'm playing more Oblivion probably Wednesday and Thursday. In the evening. For me. 
Oh, I can't remember the name right now. Goober, if you send me a message on Discord and just be like, tell us. <laughs> well, maybe not in the main chat. I don't know. Just send me a bunch of things to, like to remind me to do stuff because I won't remember when I finish the stream. <laughs> I like never remember when I, I like rarely remember when I finish the stream. Okay, I'll see you again later. Cool. Yeah, if I ever forget stuff, just like bother me in the Discord because then I'll like remember it. <laughs> uh, if it doesn't work out, that's okay. We're all adults. We can deal with that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like. Some people are more awkward about it, but like, I feel like most people would just be like, okay, you guys are doing that, or you tried dating someone and they said no, like, I feel like most people would just kind of be like, yeah, that's cool. My sources say yes. Shows me Hawk, this is your moment. Talking about Oblivion reminded me, do you know the uh, bacon channel on YouTube? They have hilarious Oblivion clips. I love the bacon channel on YouTube. They have so many good clips for like Oblivion and Skyrim. They're just so perfectly timed. It's just like really ridiculous Skyrim and Oblivion um, moments that are just like, yeah that does happen in the game and it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I love it so much. Bastion is a cat. How is Bastion? How's, how's the kitty? It is so good. I like occasionally after like I don't know sometimes on YouTube I just end up watching a whole bunch of bacon videos because they're just so good. This is so perfectly timed. Uh, but you'd have to decide right now in fact you shouldn't take the day with all your friends really think about it. After dinner I'll have finished my number crunching <laughs> and you'll have your final relationship scores that will help you guide your decision. Let's take a look. Okay, so like, you can only date people who have the little um, avatar above them. Yeah, I rewatched them a lot as well. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't really date them. I mean, I'm going after Teo in this round. But I also want to date Ashley and Gavin, and I want to know more about Percy and Queeby, like. Ooh, been so lovely. I mean, I, the only reason I wouldn't date Naomi is because, like, I think of her as like a baby sister. Behold, weeks of emotional data fully analyzed. <laughs> you can tell the ones like I didn't do at all. When you're considering dance partners, maybe consider Teo. <gasps> He's sweet. He's sweetheart. He deserves to be in the spotlight for a change. He I love Teo. So that's it. It's decided. No. Yeah, that's quite true. And it's not like I'm gonna force you to woo someone just because they're your top match. That's quite true. I quite like that, that like, uh, you can go for who you like kind of thing. I still need to calculate how well your personality matches what they're looking for. Is that will net you bonus points? Oh, I guess like the blue is for Gavin. The green would probably be more Naomi. I know the red star would probably be Queen Bee. Um, maybe the yellow happy face would be for Ashley. I don't know, I feel like each of them, except for the white one, would probably go pretty well with any of them. Consider it food for thought, you know? And you've still got the rest of today to see who you're a good fit for. Maybe cram in some more time with them. Maybe. Anyway, keep an open mind, yeah? Oop. Yeah. By the way, according to GPS, your potential romances will be here in less than two minutes. <laughs> Have fun! I hastily jam my phone back in my pocket before anyone can hear that. <laughs> Imagine being out in public and your phone being like, I'm gonna set you up. I'm gonna set you up. And it's just like, please stop. Stop. And they're like, oh, don't worry. I'll get you your romance in this. Like, it would be so embarrassing. It makes me think of like, I definitely downloaded the games before, but like, there's kind of like these mobile games. 
I know there's one where like they'll call your phone within the app thing so it's like a fake phone call and like they kind of talk to you and I used to have that downloaded. I used to have one of those on my phone and like I had to switch it off from giving me notifications because it was like really embarrassing when I'm just like downstairs trying to do something and like my family member or like my friends are like who's calling you I'm like nobody <laughs> I think it happened in like class once like ages ago and I was like no I gotta switch off this app I mean I installed it anyway but like man <laughs> so embarrassing having an app fake call you it was kind of like a romantic visual novel and like whoever you're like trying to date would leave me messages or text messages and be like why haven't you replied to me and it was really annoying as well because like you pretty much had to stay up like 24 hours to like play the game for free because you had to like message or call them at specific times but if you like um you would you have like an allowance thing and you get like a daily allowance for free but like if you paid you could play it at any time as as much as you wanted but if you did it for free you had to like wake up at like 1 a.m. no you had to be awake until like 1 a.m. then wake up at like 7 a.m. and do like you had to like I've never had a friend message or call me as much as this app did like it's so unrealistic I think even when I was dating someone, they did not message me that much or try and call me that much. And if they did, I'd be like, no, you gotta stop. Like, it was insane. You had to pretty much be awake 24 seven and like answer calls and stuff. It was really weird for an app and for a game, to be honest, a game that gives you like social anxiety over phone calls that aren't even real. <laughs> Dan uh, darn it, uh, Iris. I could have just climaxed a, uh, Chillaxed. That was not what I said. <laughs> By the sea, maybe found an old arcade where I played whip and keep and had a pleasant time. Yeah, I know, right? It was. <laughs> I don't know. And like the messages would come so often, and I had to reply to them. And I was like, this is a game where you have to, in time, in real time, reply to people's text messages. And there was like a group chat within the game. And it was like, I can't. I can't. Like, even sometimes on Discord, I like struggle to keep up with a couple of um, group chats, but it was like, that's in an app. Like, that was a game. <laughs> I mean, it was still kind of a cute idea, but like, it was definitely like a lot to handle. And also, like, it did reach the point where like you had to pay quite a few times. Uh, but now I need to be sizing up romantic partners. Although, maybe there is someone I'm getting close to. Someone I think I wouldn't mind getting closer to, in fact. You know what's the worst thing? I think I paid like one pound something. So it was like two two quid. Two squid for like a um, thing within that app. And I like, in I instantly regretted it. But like, it made the game a thousand times easier. It was definitely like a pay, uh, pay to win kind of game. But like, I mean, I still like enjoyed my time with it. It was like a really weird and interesting story and each route was quite different, but it was like pay to win. And I was like, nah, that's not me. It does suck. And I think uh, you could romance a girl, but like for some reason it was like you're still like friends but like they didn't exclusively say like you romanced her but like she did have a route and I think it was because like uh, the app was available in some places where like they did not like that kind of thing but like the creators tried they tried to have like a female romance by the way yeah she mentioned your character was like a girl or something which is also why I uninstalled it because I was like uh ah. I don't like not being able to choose a gender in visual novels <laughs> when I'm like romancing someone. That's just me. Which also sucks because like I have some old games that are like um, in the whole game you get called a girl and I'm like oh wow this is like I know it's not on purpose and like that's just how the main, main character is but I'm like oh I can't play these games anymore because gender stuff. 
I don't like when games route you towards paid options by saying like, yeah, but you can technically do it for me when the free option is ultra grindy and t uh, tenuous, uh, tedious. Yeah, like, especially with some of the games I installed on my phone, like, it was like, oh, you can do it for free, but you have to wait like four or five hours to play the game again. And it's like, no, I'd rather just like pay once. Rather than like you pretend it's free and like you have to sign in every single day for these apps as well. They're like hella addictive. Because I did play them when I was a teenager. It is shit. Like, also, there's some games that are like, oh, if you play it off matches or like if you play enough, like you may get a reward. But like people who pay for play, uh, pay to win, like they're miles ahead of you. And they have like all this gear and stuff and they're like oh we're trying to keep it balanced and it's like it doesn't matter everyone has like these whole other options i have an allergic right to reaction to these now yeah i mean um i definitely have like i can get easily addicted to this stuff like very easily which is why i don't play like any games i try not to play any games with microtransactions because I know I will spend money. I'm like, in the past I very luckily had restraint and I haven't spent much, but like, I know I will. And like, even I don't have like a gambling addiction or like anything like that. And like, it wears on me. I think it could wear on anyone. And it's especially difficult for people who like, have those issues and like really struggle with gambling and it's, I hate it so much because it just really preys on like everyone. It's made to make you spend money, it's so fucking unethical. It is. I hate this garbage and it can't be regulated too soon. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know in the UK they've been trying to crack down on loot boxes at least because like I think some members of parliament are taking um, loot boxes and microtransactions quite seriously because especially the fact that like there's been so many studies and reports on kids in the UK, but it also targets, like, adults like me, like, anyone else in chat. Like, it, it targets everyone and it preys on everyone. And, like, some of these people are earning, like, millions or billions. And it's just, like, I don't know, they're trying to squeeze every cent out of everything and... I just can't play those games, which is often a lot of the time where people are like, oh, why haven't you brought this new game? One, I don't have money. Two, I'll know I'll spend more money within the game to have like the full experience. Because you also gotta pay for DLC sometimes and like packages and stuff like that. And it's like, games don't cost the base price anymore. Like, if you buy them secondhand or like on deal, like indie games, they're usually the base price. And like maybe have one or two DLCs and that's like okay for me because it's like oh if I feel like investing in that I will get that but like I can't I, I just don't like it because I'm, I'm not getting the full game experience I mean games I've really loved have also done that like Bioware's done it a lot with Dragon Age and stuff and I love love Dragon Age but they do hide like a lot of content behind um, paywall well, not a lot, but like a chunk of content behind paywalls. Like, there's a companion you can get in Dragon Age 2, which is like the reference that my username is. Sorry, I'm just rambling. <laughs> but like, you can you can get this character who's like a main character, but if you don't pay for him, you don't know him. But he has like a really important story, and he's like a main companion that you can have throughout the whole game. But if you don't pay for him, he's just not in your game. So they're like cut out a character that would have been in your game and I just I hate that so much I like hearing you ramble thank you <laughs> it's nice to know that people do <laughs> but like you know what I mean it's just like when I pay for a game I want a game and if it's like a one year anniversary or something like that and they release a DLC because they've spent like a year or two um uh, updating and managing the game and they're like oh we wanted to give you this DLC and if it's like below a fiver or like around seven quid or something like that I'm like oh okay 
but usually like below a fiver, like four ninety nine through a DLC. And like if it's a big expansion, I don't mind that as much because it's like it's been a year or it's been two years since it's released, so it's like adding content to the game that was already there. But if they do like on day release DLC or passes or like packages, it's like cool. I'm not gonna have the same experience as everyone else because I can't afford all the extra stuff. Like people aren't playing the same game anymore because so much of it is cut out and sold to us on a separate price or like again like stuff like micro transactions and loot boxes are like so addicting that like you could spend so much and you'd still not have the same experience as someone else who spends even more than you and I don't know this is that's why I'm often into like indie games or like older games that like I never finished like even though some of the older games I play like have DLC at least it's like in a package and usually cheaper than when it was on release though I know some games that are old-ish now can't you can't get the DLC because it's all digital you have to buy it separately and that's poop <laughs> at least I think so because it's like a game that's been out for ages and you have to pay extra anyway that's just me and this is my ramble about games if anyone is always wondering why I play older games or indie games it's mostly because of that whole thing and I just can't deal with it. Also, I can't buy new games anyway. But a lot of the times when I'm like really into a new game, I think I've only brought one AAA game this year. And I only brought, technically I didn't buy a AAA game last year. Um, someone else gave it to me and it was like released earlier that year. So like I really don't, buy new new games very often I usually buy like indie games because usually when you pay for an indie game you get it the whole game <laughs> that's all I'm saying okay back to the game I'm done rambling uh, it has been a long time since I felt like I could even try some someone to share with my life with maybe it's time to look for love again you only sledge on game crushes you damn right I mean also the fact like some games just have really good mods so like sometimes I'm like oh yeah I might rebuy that on PC because with mods it's like a whole new experience and I'm pretty sure my brother has most of the games in the house anyway <laughs> so technically I didn't buy them uh, but for now I decide to focus on the day ahead fun in the sun good clean fun in the sun very innocent and chest age fun in the sun for example, I know I'm buying uh, Baldur's Gate 3 on release. I gotta. Yeah, sometimes it's just like a game. I'm the same. There's a game like I really loved. Like, I brought Animal Crossing this year because, like, we hadn't had an Animal Crossing in like 10 years or something like that. And, like, I was really, really excited for it. And I think it's been like a really good purchase because, like, whenever I get bored with it, there's like a new update and I can play more of it. Or I can, like, not play it for like three months and then pick it up again and it's like almost just as fun or I could just start a whole new island if I'm like that bored <laughs> you know what I mean it's, it was like ah oh, it's a good purchase I mean sometimes there's stuff that like you just really look forward to but when people ask me if I'm buying a new console I'm like no I can't afford it for one but two it's like that means I have to spend like hundreds of pounds and then buy a bunch of games on top of that for a whole bunch of squid and I can't be asked. Sure I can do that right? We're doomed! We're doomed! <laughs> Innocent fun is doomed! <laughs> we were doomed from the start! I'm not even looking at my screen! Oh, <laughs> that's a good thing I have the door shut! It's not even- it's not even the worst thing that's ever happened! Like, oh, maybe I shouldn't talk about this but like one time I was playing a game with Kiwi and she probably remembers this but like a cutscene came on and I was like oh it's okay we can just skip it if it's too weird but like we were both really awkward <laughs> the scene came on and my mum came in and I panicked <laughs> and I couldn't I couldn't like I couldn't 
tab out of the game for some reason, so I just switched off the screen and I was attempting to switch off like the whole computer, but it was, <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> I mean, it was the funniest moment I've ever shared with Kiwi, but like after that, we were like, we gotta be more careful about this. I mean, it was a really weird game that is like in perspective was hella problematic, but I still like there's some really cool moments to it. It was a weird game. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was not good. I mean, if I ever play games on my PC now, I'm like ready to close it. I'm ready at any moment to close it. So right now, I'm geared to go. I'm ready to close this. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's still kind of innocent. They're just in very nice swimsuits. I need to stop. Hey, it looks so good. I love his little hair braid so much. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. It just reminded me of that moment. It, it was just so funny. Uh, I kind of miss that game sometimes, but like I probably wouldn't replay it because there are very trashy moments in it. But it was still a really cool concept. It was like, you know, visual novels that just like have an entire different world and they like do so much cool world building that I'm like oh my god this is awesome but like the romantic story is like really cheesy or like typical or like trashy and it's like eh some of the romances are eh in perspective it's like eh I mean I still loved still love some characters but like I think the world was like the coolest thing about that game like this game has a very cool world as well even though it's more like a slightly in the future version of our world. I love this. Oh, he's even painted the nails. We can just take a moment to appreciate to appreciate what's on the screen and how gay I am. Can we get some pan flags in the chat? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that's a good time. Some good panic shortcuts. Uh, Windows M min minimizes everything. Windows L uh, brings up the PC lock screen, the session login screen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gooper. <laughs> I'm gonna be ready. If anything happens, I can be ready. It, I don't know what that will do to this stream, but I'll be ready. Hello, Faltstam. Your queen has arrived. Yes, queen. Winnerhog, is this a, a private game of beach bucket bingo? Or can we join in? Yeah, yeah, those three little dots. I feel that. C can I, like. How do I, uh. How do I hide something that I probably shouldn't? <laughs> oh, please join. Join. Join us, please. Please join us. Uh, dialogue. These are, like, the shortcuts for all visual novel games, by the way. Take a screenshot. I mean, I shouldn't, but I probably will. I uh, I wanted to do that. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Just taking a screenshot. Don't worry about it. I will probably take more screenshots later, especially if they have like cute ending cards. Oh, if they had a really cute card in the in the event thing, that would have been adorable. <laughs> Y'all don't judge me, please. That's all you're getting, because innocent. Yep. Innocent fun. Chastise. Fun in the sun. Our brain is melting right now. Uh, Where can I put my parasol? How's the surf? Teo was thinking of doing some surfing. <gasps> surfing could be so fun! Oh no, I did the same, no judging. <laughs> Please don't judge me. Oh, what a nice screenshot Ashley and her cosplay. No. I have to, when I redo Ashley's, when I do Ashley's route in my own time, I am definitely screenshotting her cosplay because it was so perfect. It was so good. I think my brain is like half melting and also being like, yay, surfing. Because... I don't think I've surfed since I was a kid because it's not really a thing. Uh, at least I don't really think it's a thing where I am, like in England. But 
Surfing is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever done anything with big waves because I was like a child. I really get the chance to surf these days, looking forward to breaking out my old board and hitting the waves. Oh, that'd be so cool! I was gonna play the Beach Boys all the way down from <laughs> here from the city to help me get in the mood, but Queen Bee vetoed it. Yeah, Queen Bee, like, she takes control of the radio, like, and they'll, they'll even try. Actually, I imagine Teo knows, like, some really good songs, like, especially catchy ones. Uh -uh. Hey, if you want a free ride in my beloved B mo <laughs> mobile. <laughs> I love how she names everything B themed. Even her suit is, like, B themed. Like, that's like the, uh, what is it called? I just say nest, but there's like a specific word for like the pattern in the nest. I can't remember what it's called. Hey, if you want a free light in my beloved bee me mobile <laughs> with a board strapped on my roof, your board strapped on my roof, you listen to my music, Mr. Dance Pants. That's the rule. Hive. Damn it, that's right. My brain is melted. There's two very beautiful people and my brain has melted. Yeah, that's like a rule, like, at least there's a rule in like, people are, like my friends and family and stuff where it's like, whoever is driving controls the radio or like the music or whatever's playing because they're driving and like, if something is too distracting or like, they want to listen to something, it's like, they are the one driving, they control it. That's the rules. Oh, hey, there's a perfect thought. Let's set up there. Catch you later. Don't don't talk to me, Tail. You you're gonna you're gonna melt my sweet sweet innocent heart, please. I better go help her. See you there. Yep, this is the sign that our brain has melted. I suddenly feel a bit inadequate in terms of proper beach body and entire. You know that's like a real thing, where, like. If anyone judges anyone for like their beach body or whatever, like wearing a certain swimsuit or stuff like that, like because of how their body is, we fighting. People, be beach body isn't super skinny with muscles. Beach body is anybody that is at the beach. Y'all are all beautiful, no matter what you wear. It's all good. The only thing I would kick someone for, like. Not even wearing it at the beach, but like one of those hentai shirts. Like I will fight someone wearing one of those. But anything else, like completely fine. Also, if it had anything like bigoted on it, yeah, I I definitely fight someone. Like I throw sand at them. But like, especially if like someone's fat, because I don't think I have a swimsuit either. Well, I kind of have a swimsuit. I have stuff that like can be worn in the ocean. Pocket sand! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I haven't even watched all of King of the Hill, but like, I always think of pocket sand every now and then. But yeah. Especially if someone who is larger or like, has scars or has... Um, any skin condition or freckles or something like that. Or certain amount of hair like if people judging other people for that like it makes me so angry because it's like we're all just here to hang out and have fun in the sun maybe swim around a little like don't be judging people oh Gavin oh Gavin you've broken me I was I was saying something sensible but now my brain is broken again <laughs> where does my brain keep melting <laughs> Oh, thank you. This is very nice of you to say. You're very kind as well, Gooba. You're like, Gooba, you help me out so much. <laughs> like, you know all the stuff. But yeah, my brain has my brain has broken. Oh my god, Gavin. I knew, I knew Gavin looked hot. But like, bro just came up in here and like, he melted my brain. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to save so I can just screenshot everything. I should not do that right now. Yeah, where was he hiding this? To be honest, I didn't expect Gavin to have abs. This is just a personal thing for me.
but like, um, I do like muscles, but like, if anyone has like a really skinny t tummy or like a really s like tight abs, it like really makes me worry about like the how much they drink in terms of water and like eat. I don't know. It just worries me. Maybe that's just me, but like. I prefer when somebody like does have muscle but still has like some fat. That's just personally me. But I do know sometimes like like um fat gets distributed differently in people's bodies and stuff like that. So like really I shouldn't be judging. But like uh, this is my brain. But that doesn't mean any of that is bad. I know sometimes though like um, I think one of the reasons I'm maybe not into it is because like so many people aim for it and like I have to remind myself like that's unrealistic or like that's photoshop or like that's makeup and lighting and stuff like that. But I mean like a couple of people might have that but it is very difficult to maintain and it takes like a lot and a lot of work. And again, it is like lighting and makeup and stuff like that. I prefer some fat too. Also, just because I prefer some fat or like a certain body type or like anything like that doesn't mean any other body types are not beautiful because everyone likes different stuff. Like, I know people like different colors. People have different favorite colors, so people might have different favorite body types, but like Everyone is different. It's nice and soft. That's why I always say, like, when everyone's like, oh, you've gained some weight, and I'm like, yeah, that makes me soft and cuddly even more. Because I'm super chubby. <laughs> I mean, I've been fat my whole life. But yeah, just because I or anybody else likes a certain, like, appearance of someone, even if it's, like, hair color, eye color, or something like that does not necessarily mean like that is the beauty standard like everyone likes different stuff also sometimes like I just like someone because of the I usually would date or like whatever with somebody because of their personality and like because I vibe with them as weird as how to describe and then like I happen to be attracted to them I mean sometimes very rarely I am just instantly attracted to people but like they're usually not real. <laughs> usually, like video game characters. <laughs> it is. But anyway, back to the game. Oh yeah, it's totally understandable. Okay, thank you. Sometimes when I ramble like that, I'm like, do people understand what I'm trying to say? We're here, Naomi. You're so cute. Also, the fear of losing your glasses is real. I'm not gonna lie. Um, whenever I go to the beach, I'm like, I don't want to lose my glasses. I wear them all the time. I don't swim under the ocean anymore. Excellent. A good queen bee brought an umbrella. That would be me. I would bring an umbrella. Like, I, I sunburn very easily. To me, the personality fills the body with life. Exactly. I'm attracted to a person through... A person bodies through their personality. If that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Again, everyone's like attracted to people differently. And again, it doesn't make anyone less desirable. It's just like we all attract and like into different things and like different people. It's just how it be. Also, Gavin, I wish I know this is me, but I wish he had like I love this body hair. I have this I wish I wish we could see this sooner. <laughs> I mean, it makes more sense to have it at the end. Honestly, I don't really tan so much as burnt or crisp. Oop, yep, I feel that. Honestly, I'm mostly here for shopping in the arcades. I burn very easily as well. I think the only thing like being in the sun more does for me is like give me more freckles, and that's about it. I'm curious to see how these arcades are run, as well as maybe talk to the manager, get some tips on how to handle the transit audience. <laughs> Gavin's like, I'm here for business, but he body looked like pleasure. Anyway, 
My brain is turning into mush. It is melting so much. Also, I just want to see his shorts. Oh, okay. They, like, from this perspective, they kind of reminded me of the SpongeBob kind of outsell. I don't know why. They're quite cute. I like Naomi's, like, stripe thing. Ugh. I want to play in them, not study them. Sheesh. <laughs> Gavin, we're not here to work. I mean, his work is his pleasure. Like, he does love it a lot, but... I hope he can have fun at, like, the pinball machines or something like that. Can't I do both? Hmm. I'll go join the others for now, though. It's been a long dive. I'd love to stretch out for a bit. See ya! Oh, me too. I'm so crammed from sitting in the van. Wait for me. <laughs> Stretching, yes. Stretching is good. Flex those muscles. <laughs> stretching is good for your body. Oh, that reminds me I should stretch a little. Stretching is good. Stretching is important. I might end up playing more of this. I don't know what day. It might be a Saturday or something like that. Ooh. I'm gonna die. My brain has melted. It has melted out my ear. It is on the floor. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Why is everyone so hot? I mean, I was already having massive crushes on them because they're like so amazing and wonderful and like really nice people and and they're also pretty like my brain can't handle this. <laughs> my brain can't handle this. Let's take a moment. Take a moment. Also I'm really happy that um Percy has hair as well. I love my <gasps> Naomi has freckles on her shoulder. That's so cute. No, not Naomi. Ashley. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> my brain. That's what I said. My brain is melted. It's on the floor. It's on the floor right beside me. <laughs> you can see it. All the hot, nice people have melted my brain. I love this though. This is the kind of thing, honestly, like shorts and like a top thing is the kind of thing I like to wear. And like would prefer to swim in though technically I can't swim in my binder so I mean I have done that once don't do that um it was a stupid thing to do <laughs> it's not a good thing luckily it was like in a swimming pool so there was a lifeguard if anything happened but like I was swimming in deep water with a binder that was not a good idea don't don't swim in your binder don't do exercise in, in a binder please uh I do not recommend it but I love this, this is so... <laughs> I'm gonna have so many screenshots in my computer and then be like, why do I have this? And it's like, my brain, my brain. Should I put it in the um, falling in love with 2D characters? Would that be too thirsty? I don't know. I mean, I put that picture of Dante. <laughs> so I don't know. It's so cute though. Yes. <laughs> okay, I will. People aren't gonna understand, but I'm gonna be like, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, actually, you're so cute. Cersei channels are important for a balanced Discord. That's quite true. We have like cute pets, innocent, happy time, um, positive things. We've got memes, which is a mix of chaos and cuteness. We've also got an art corner, which is quite cute. Where's well, a creative corner? I changed it to a creative cor corner because I like realized not everyone draws and like other people might write or make music or videos or something like that. Which is why I changed it. <laughs> so everyone can share all their creative things, but yeah, I'll probably put those in. I mean, maybe I'll give people the option to mute the <laughs> channel if they want to. Oh man, this is what it's turned into. Again, my brain's on the floor. I don't know what's helping me function right now. Sheer will, probably. Alright, the beach. I haven't been to the beach in ages. Not since my sign spinning days. Oh, promoting that funnel cake place. That's such an odd job to me. Like, you just spin a sign outside a business for advertisement. I don't know if that's really a thing in the UK. Maybe it is and I just don't know about it. And I guess there was that one time we did a beach shoot, but that was our summer, like, so, yes, ages ago. 
it feels like I would be back in the sun. Oh, I would love to see that. I love when people do like uh, beach day cosplays. I think that's so cool. Or like, you know when like characters have like different themed outfits or stuff? I love it so much. Or they do like a Christmas one or like a Halloween one. I love Halloween outfits. Halloween outfit cosplays make me so happy. If I could, I would love to go to a con or something like that on Halloween, but I don't think we have any. We have like one con, one or two cons around that time. So some people do hollow Halloween outfits, but like, I love Halloween cosplay. It's, it looks so good. The uh, last beach I was I went to was back in England, considerably more cold and overcast than it is this, so I'm afraid. Yep. Well, that's what English beats are like. English beats, uh, beats. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about that too, but English beaches are like, this is windy. We just have windy beaches. I mean, sometimes they're sunny, but like, um, only a certain time of the year, like a couple days of the year. Most of the time it's just really windy, which is quite nice if you like, if you like the live there like regularly, it's quite, you get used to it and it's quite a nice thing to have like the sea by you but like um if you live too close to the ocean you will just like everything smells like the ocean and everything <laughs> you just have sand everywhere so it's not really fun at least i don't think so beets i'm trying to think if we have any beets in the fridge or something like that sometimes we do i don't particularly like them i'm okay with them they stain everything though especially red beets uh, and before you ask, because actually I already asked again and again on the drive down here, I'm not going to explode in direct sunlight. My condition is quite stable today. Oh, okay, cool. Because I know, like, um, especially people who aren't used to the heat, like us English, <laughs> have like heat stroke. I know, like, a couple times uh, this year and like last year. Um, a couple of people I know have like not quite had heat stroke but I think it was pretty close to heat well, it was it was probably heat stroke but like they didn't fully as it, it, like they were sick but they weren't like passing out I have had someone pass out though because of heat stroke and it's like ah, all we can do is just move them because that happened to one of my friends and like she was like I'm gonna pass out and I was like what what, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? She's like, yeah, I feel really faint and I'm gonna pass out. So I'm just gonna lie on the floor. Could you keep an eye on me? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, it was really, it was, I don't understand why this building did not have AC. It was a building for like hundreds of people to stay in. So all the heat accumulated. So it was like even hotter inside than it was outside. I did not understand why that ha like they did that. But like, I had to stay with her and everyone was like, oh, where are you? And I'm like, I'm taking care of my friend. Because she passed out and I need to stay with her and make sure she's okay. <laughs> like, I really had to stay with her. And luckily, like, the people there were, like, cool with me staying there as well. And, like, her boyfriend and her family were like, oh, you don't have to stay with her. And I was like, my friend just passed out. Like, I need to make sure she's okay. English people when temperatures above 20. <laughs> Actually, it's anything above... 28 that like we freak out above 20 is like maybe 24 is like pretty like we're like oh we're warm like we're quite warm but then anything above 28 is like oh we die we're we're not used to the heat we are very weak <laughs> to the heat <laughs> very weak indeed i mean i personally would say i am i'm quite weak to the heat I mean, it's also because, like, I'm fat and a lot of heat in my body <laughs> does not leave. Sorry, Percy, but you're part of the crew. That means we care about you. Oh, it's so sweet. She sh cares. Also, actually has some muscles. Like, damn. Also, don't like the heat. Nah. I prefer, like, the thing is with the heat, it's harder to cool down. But, like, if it's cold, you can wrap up in a blanket and sit by something warm maybe a fire or like a radio heater or something like that and have a 
warm cup of tea or like a warm hot chocolate warm up and it's nice and cozy but in the heat it's like you die that's it you're hot you're hot and you can do nothing about it you can have a cold drink but you'll still be hot in five minutes you can take a cold shower and then like instantly when you come out you're hot again and you're sweating <laughs> maybe the north is escape the heat and also get more affordable prices yeah I mean I know some people are like oh I'd love to move here and I'm like I'd move anywhere where it's like not ages away from my friends but like to be honest wherever it's affordable and I can have a job you can always put on more layers but you can't remove layers when you're naked <laughs> when you're sticky and gross ugh yep that's very true like if it's cold you can just put it on a jumper but like um when it's hot there's that's it, you're hot, you're doomed. I mean, Percy's wearing very appropriate attire, like, I love this. I'm just staring at them now. This is, I shouldn't be doing that. I'm being very distractible right now. I promise though, we won't treat you like you're made of glass. You're still old Percy to us. Much obliged. Thanks, love. All the same. I think I'll grab a spot under the umbrella before all the good shade is shaken, taken. Yeah, like, especially when you're at the beach, you want shade. Because you're constantly, like, in the sunlight. As for me, last one in the water is Land Rover. <laughs> Lover. Yes, water. Yes, getting wet and cooling down. <laughs> I love, like, our character is like is it the same brain level as me and just brain is gone brain is gone people we already had crushes on are very hot and now we're just like we fade in we fade in <laughs> oh my gosh that's so cute oh my gosh jupiter looks adorable Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. I love I love her color. I love her color scheme. It's just like pinks and purples. I love it. Oh, Jupiter, you're so cute. I just can't get over it. She looks adorable. She's so cute. I love her glasses as well. I, I love how Francie's just in her same outfit. She's like, I live in this. I mean, that's an extremely comfy outfit. I feel like you could wear that anywhere. You might need a coat in like a snowstorm, but like that outfit is really good. Hello, dearie. Afraid my bikini days are behind me, but I'm happy here all the same. I do so love to be out in the sun. No matter your age, you have a beach buddy. That is also another thing I forgot to mention. Just because someone is old or older or aged more than you. They still got a beach bud. They should do still be allowed to enjoy the beach as much as they want. But I also understand where Francie's coming from. Was like you reach a point in your age where you're like, I don't need to care what how people look at me. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna dress how I want. <laughs> I love when like people who are older are just like nah, I just don't care anymore. I don't need to worry about that kind of thing. I can do what I want. I just love it. Lovely beach is lovely weather, lovely people. There are so many lovely people in our lives. Good to see all three present and accounted for. Absolutely. Yeah, I rented an extra parasol and some chairs for Miss Francine and I. Oh, that's a good idea. Especially since like I feel like Francine will probably fall asleep at some point and like I don't like the idea of her falling asleep in the sun and like burning because that's gonna hurt her skin a lot. At least I know from experience of having really bad <laughs> sunburns. Also, I just really want Francine's outfit. I just want to like have something as crazy as that to wear. And for you two, Hawk, plenty of room if you we squeeze in. My oh my! Am I how cozy? Aww. Well, okay then. <laughs> this is a new co concept for me to be observing these people in. But in front of the sun right uh, 
Above all else, this is to be a day of celebration and cheer over the success of the Funplex. Damn right, hanging out with your people you care the most about and just having to- I love how that's just my thing now. <laughs> but like, I don't know, sometimes when like you hang out with people you really like or like who are really important to you, it's just nice to go with them somewhere and like have the celebration. Even if it's just like to a meal meal out or something like that. Oh man, I miss my friends so much. But like, I don't know. I just think it's really sweet. And it's gonna be a really good thing to do. Though maybe not do it right now. <laughs> maybe stay indoors right now. Literally I keep being like, oh my god, I have to go visit people and it's like, nope, can't do that still. Also, like, maybe it's just because I've been on Twitter way too much this week, but like, sometimes I'm looking at stuff on the internet, I'm like, oh, we're gonna get a second wave, aren't we? And people are gonna have to, they're not gonna say anything straight away, and we're gonna have to get a second wave, and it's gonna suck, but I don't wanna think about it right now. I just miss my friends. Yes, I would like to hug them, and I don't know, just hang out with them. Just eat takeaway and play video games, like, and watch movies. I really want to do that with my friends. I mean, that's just mood sometimes. You can get this beach party started, although it doesn't take too long for the group to start splitting up. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I mean, to be honest, like, when I have with my friends, we're like, okay, we'll stick together, and then a few moments in, it's like, actually, we want to do different stuff and it's like, okay, but we've got to meet back here. We've got to meet back. <laughs> and like everyone gets mixed up and like sometimes we meet back up and then we split off into different groups and it's just like an endless amount <laughs> of going around different places. But like when we all hang out together, we stick together like in the same spot, if it is the same spot, but like if we're in a big place, like at a convention, it's like everyone goes everywhere, especially me. Like I'm a wanderer. I <laughs> wander off all the time. If you have to keep an eye on me, you you either have to like hold my hand or hold on to like, or get me to hold on to something because like, I'm a wanderer. I I've since I was a child, I wander off, <laughs> and like I know it pisses off my friends sometimes because they're like, we thought we lost you. <laughs> it's like I just wander. I don't know where it is. I just like see a butterfly and I'm gone. Like I'm very easily distractible. This is too much to see, too much to do, and. Uh, I know from my vacation here as a kid that you can't really try everything in one day but unlike me, they're noobs. <laughs> as an adult, I know how to budget my time to do the things I want to do to hang out with the people I really want to hang out with. Despite my attempts to <laughs> to <laughs> at good clean fun, Iris's words are still running through my head by evening. I need to make a decision. That means if I'm seriously gonna make a move like she suggested I do, I need to, I should spend time, my time wisely leading up to the next move. So what's next? I am curious. Um, if I can go to multiple places, or if, or is it like a you can only visit one person, or can I visit multiple people? Goober, do you remember? <laughs> do you remember what decision you had to do in this game? I also might close my window. I realized I've been yelling a little. Well, not really yelling, but like speaking loudly. Oop. I don't think my neighbors appreciate it. Uh. Do I remember what? Can I? Like, in this part of the game, if I choose one group to hang out with, do I hang out with that group all day? Or can I hang out with, like, multiple people? Oh wow. It really does smell like somebody's doing a bonfire or something. It smells really nice. Just as I close the window, someone <laughs> is doing a bonfire. That's good timing. Like, if I hang out with Naomi and Ashley, can I later on hang out with Teo and Percy? Uh, I think you do. Okay. I mean, I want to hang out with Tail. 
Three out of four? Okay. I think. Alright. It's been a while. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Jupiter's talking with her iris, it seems. Uh, Teo and Percy are playing carny games. I think you do three out of four. The last one is skipped. Okay. Well, I want to hang out with Teo, so we go to Teo first. Plus, Teo and Percy look so good. Everyone looks amazing. I feel like that's one of those things where, like, um, anytime I get dressed up for anything, or like a beach day out or something like that, I'm like, ah, I always look, I feel like I look the worst. And then, like, to all my, all my friends, I'm like, oh my god, you look amazing, you look so good. Like, you look great, you have such good fashion and stuff like that. And then, like, um, they're like, oh, I didn't dress up that good. I'm like, yes, you look, you're very good, you did very good. Like, don't, don't doubt yourself. I feel like that, I don't know. I feel like, this game is like touching on that a little because we're like oh we're so underdressed for the beach or like haven't got a good beach bod or something like that. I don't know it's just maybe one of those things where it's like your friends sound great. They are great. I miss them. I mean we have a new group of friends here in the chat. This is I don't have a name for the chat. <laughs> I, just, I just say like our little group within the discord and the chat and stuff. This is also very fun. I mean it's just really fun <laughs> playing games and chatting with you guys. It has helped me get through I would say just this year. The Hawk's Nest. <gasps> Goover you genius! You know I'm gonna change the discord to that. <laughs> I might change the discord that I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> See this is why you're the knower of all things. The Hawk's Nest. Damn right that's our group name. <laughs> but like seriously these past few months is like it's been a weird ride but it's been a really good ride. Like I don't think I've even been streaming that long but like I don't know it's helped me get through uh, being separated from my friends. I mean, even if there wasn't quarantine, I wouldn't have had, like, I mean, I might have had the money because I would have, might have had a job. But, like, it's been rough this year. But it's also, like, been good in ways. So, I don't know. It's been a mix. I mean, I'm quite privileged that I can, like, stay at home. But, I mean, uh, a number of little carny style games have been set up along the beach, independent of the boardwalk arcades. Oh, I found me again. Ring toss, squirt guns, and things like that. I want to screenshot so many things in this game. <laughs> Everyone who's not like in this live stream right now is like, what? What happened? What were you and Gooba doing? And we were just, we were just playing. Okay, spirits, and it was a very good time, and it's just very happy. Every time I see Teo, I feel like collapsing because damn, he looks so good. I can't. And this person right there as well. Like, if Gavin and Ashley were right next to them, I, I just, <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's what I do. Just photos, the screenshot, just everything. Just blush and be like, don't worry guys, it's for memories. I mean, actually, I would probably take a lot of pictures anyway because, like, it's a beach day out and it's a special day. But my brain would melt at the same time. Uh, Percy promised everyone he'd keep it low key today as he recovers from his heart trauma. Tossing a few rings is definitely low key. It looks like, though, he's keen on to go surfing. Taya's keeping Percy company. <laughs> oh, they both look so good. This is just me personally, but like I'm so happy that they gave like Gavin and Percy chest hair because um thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, designers. Thank you, people who drew this. Thank you. <laughs> it is appreciated. 
But judging by the way the rings are just sort of bouncing off the bottles instead of landing on them, the games aren't, are not going well. I don't get it, I'm usually much more co coordinated than this. Um, it's because they're all rigged and it's made it so that like only sometimes people win. Usually like kids or something like that. Usually they like give out prizes really early in the day so like that way people walk around with the prizes and like draw people in but like as the day gets later on it usually like becomes much harder to win because it's all rigged up that way. I mean it's fun to do um, if you just want to do it for fun and like play with friends which is usually what I do. Like we usually play a couple games just because it's funny but like this, if you want to actually win a prize, like you're better off finding some of these things online. They're like way cheaper if you just buy one, or you buy something that's like better quality than it. Mm, I don't think it's a matter of coordination, Teo. More of a question of well, let's say optimization. But Percy's ring goes plink, plink of the a bottle as well. Oh, uh, look at it. He know he's scamming. But yeah, if you really want to win a prize in one of those things, I would say go early in the day. You have a better chance, but like, again, it's not guaranteed. Usually they give it off to like, people they know who will be there all day and like, carry stuff around. It's still fun to do. Like, I love those, um, crane machine games. Even though like, you never win it. I, only a couple times I've won it out of like the quite few times I've played it but like it's so fun to do but I try to stop myself because I definitely remember like one summer I became particularly addicted to it and luckily my mum was like no no more <laughs> like she stopped me <laughs> because like I got crazy obsessed with it what a shame what a shame you boys want to play again only five dollars for three tosses it's a downright steal Yep, I would definitely put steel in that sentence. I'm starting to wonder if it, this is a steal in more than a sense than one. Yep, Teo knows. Teo knows! Not only is he pretty, but he's smart. Actually, Teo is like crazy smart. Like, he organizes all that other stuff. And also, like, having coordination as well as playing these darts games is quite difficult. Teo's just so great. <laughs> they know. Nah, nah, nobody's a sore lo loser, boys. It's totally fair. Totally fair. I swear on my mum's grave, I do. All this old timey carny bounty has got me. Uh, got my dando up. It does. I must confront this ch uh, charlatan. Hail sport. Uh, what kind of racket are you trying to pull? What? Cheating, my friends. I mean, if you actually said that, especially like at a theme park or something where they have these kind of games, like if it's in a very specific area, like they will kick you out if you accuse cheating or like you try and like record or some, you know, stuff like that. Like you will get kicked out. <laughs> I say, fellas, I believe in you. I do. Let's win one of those 50 prizes. Um, horse feathers, let's leave this do drop a B and go have fun on the beach. Yeah, I won't say cheating because I don't want the guy to get mad because they they could get mad. Well, hey there, gents. <laughs> that we work together, run this uh, four flusher out on the rail. Anything's possible when you put your heads together. Oh, indeed. My sentiments exactly. I love Percy's little tum tum. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I just win like tum tum. This is me. I do believe I have a proposal. Teo, a word. Hmm, sure, what do you have in mind? Percy's like a strategist. He's like, gonna know. Yeah, he's just got a cute tum tum. Weirdly, the two huddle up without me and <laughs> exchange a few whispers. Uh, considering. Inge interjecting myself into the discussion before it's over, uh, but it's over before I can try. 
Okay, let's play then. Taylor tosses a few dollars and takes up the rings. While Percy examines the racks of bottles in detail, Taylor holds back, waiting for him to finish. Eventually, Percy points. Right there, three rings wrapped. That's a sweet spot. With a twist of his agile body, uh, Tail flings his rings one at a time. All three rattle <laughs> their way around the neck of the bottle, uh, ringing it perfectly. Simple enough, based on Tail's throwing angles from before and adjustment uh, arrangement of the bottles, I determined the optimal striking zone for him to aim. Nice one! All the games are a matter of optimization, even silly, li silly little carnival toys. My Lindsay busted me old sport. <laughs> well, I know when you, when I'm well and truly rumbled. Go ahead, pick your prize. Oh, Hulk, what will it be? <gasps> I can choose. Yes. Yeah, we were trying to win you a prize after. <gasps> I'm, I'm so full of love. Maybe I'll put my brain back in my head. <laughs> I don't need it. Actually, I don't need it. I'm happy here. Yes. Oh, we could see if we could get a teddy bear. Me? Really? This was me? This would instantly make me blush. It would be like, oh, for me? <laughs> like, I would be like, I'm too embarrassed. I'm too embarrassed. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you are the true prize here. Tail! Tail, stop! Tail! I've already fallen for you. I can't fall any further. I'm on the ground. <laughs> I've fallen down the stairs of my love for Tail. And I'm on the ground. I can't fall any further for you. <laughs> Met me up on this, Percy. Quite so, quite so. Guys, stop! Stop! Which one of these vessel winnings truly makes your heart dance? Uh, I glance across the row, uh, row of arcade themed stuffed dolls with curiosity and say uh, I'm a little old for dolls but never too old for a huggable plush friend damn right I mean I have like way too many uh, soft toys like plush plushy dolls um, in my room I really need to organize it better because I got way too much and they both work so hard for it I like an adorable Mr. Moopy magical plushie. Um, I guess I have the cube The swinging dolly that plays music! I want the Mr. Moopy magical plushie though! I think that sounds super cute. I mean I know like the dancing, the, the one that plays music is probably more attuned to like Teo, but I want the Mr. Moopy! I like the Robin Wizard hat. Also, I want Mr. Booby. <laughs> Julie Hawk, an individual, individual of class and taste. I suppose nothing beats the classic her. Plus, I can't deny the little smile Percy wears as Bacani takes down my prize and hands it over. He's had a hard time of it lately. I'm happy to make him happy. Okay, okay. No, go away with you, boys. <laughs> you bother me. Yeah, when you win. They they tell you to go away. <laughs> the three of us uh, return to the dunes, pies and toe. So why were you two trying to win a prize for me? I mean, Percy, there were there was a Moopy doll back there. That's right in your real house, yeah. True, true, but well, we discussed it and decided you deserve a treat for a a job well done. Oh, so sweet. They both look so cute as well. They're both so sweet. I'm sure this whole vacation treat is for a job well done, but we wanted something for you specially. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I can't deal with like how nice everyone is in this game. Quite right. I admit, Hawk, the funplex is a brighter place with you around. Oh, Not to say it wasn't a bright place before you, yeah, your tuna. But well, that's the true breath of life there. Beyond what I thought possible. Also, I'm gonna have to get a drink at some point. Because I'm running out of water. I mean, I kind of want coffee, but it's 
Probably not good for my throat. <laughs> I do like it though. Um, beyond just hard work you do, the way you've uh, brought us all together, well, a mere plush toy isn't really a proper reward, but it'll have to suffice. Do you know what? It's the memory of the thing. Like, some of the plush toys I have, like, specifically remind me of stuff. Especially if I, like, won them in a certain way. Or, like, I've gotten them at a certain time of my life. Like, this plush toy will remind me of you two and how wonderful and nice you are. Wah! That's <laughs> not gonna lie, that's exactly how we say it. Running out of wah! <laughs> Especially, I, the, the more and more, like, cottony or something like that I get is usually around my family. I'm like, oi! Oi! Give me some wah! And it's like, we don't usually talk like that, but it's fun to do. <laughs> What my comrade is trying to say is, in his usual poetic way, is you rock, you roll, so you get a prize. Thanks for playing. Thank you. I will, I will treasure the Moopy doll forever, and it will remind me of you too. And, um, you guys are so nice. Like everyone's so nice in this game. Yes, that. Okay, I'm gonna hit the waves. I'd offer you a boiled Percy, but I know, I know. I promise, I take it easy. Uh, not that I'm very aquatic, to be honest. Yeah, some people don't really like uh, being in the water. I love it. I wish I could uh, be a mermaid when I was a kid. I really love swimming. I haven't done it in ages, though. Probably not in years. Uh, but it's good to spend time with you, considering usually on the opposite ends of the arcade. That's quite true. You too. Oh, well now. Uh, I didn't realize how much I meant to them. I'm only a floor attendant, a uh, event manager, right? Oh no, we're falling more and more for everyone. I mean, everyone in this game is incredibly lovely. Like, I feel like it would be difficult not to fall for any of them. <laughs> like, they're all really super lovely. Even if, like, you're not into them romantically, you have, like, the greatest group of friends ever. Like, they're so good. But seeing everyone come together for the speech <laughs> blanket bingo we've wrangled up. It's the bee's knees it is. So what's next? Um Let's go see Naomi and Ashley, because that sounds really cute. And making sand castles is so fun. I mean, sometimes it's like sound, like <laughs> you just can't make it. But like, this sounds like fun. <gasps> I bet Naomi does something crazy. Oh, <gasps> I bet Ashley does something crazy. I bet they both do something like really crazy. <laughs> Other that, or like, it just doesn't work. Sand is very difficult to use, especially like um, sand animation, like. Sand animation stresses me out. I know somebody in my class specifically did it and I love looking at sand animation. It looks really nice. If anyone's curious, sand animation is literally making animation with sand. So sometimes you can like have it move around kind of thing, but like it's usually moving it a little, taking a shot, moving it again, taking another shot. So it's kind of like clay animation, but like different medium but like if you mess up any of the frames because of the sand you can't you can't get that shit back like once it's messed up it's messed up and you can only slightly go back to what it looked like i mean that's kind of similar with clay, clay animation but with sand animation it's permanently gone like it is very difficult to use people who can use sand and like make images and animations like kudos because that stuff is hard. Let's see what happens to be a Miranda of sandcastles <laughs> which makes sense. I mean I'd be worried if a whole bunch of not sandcastles on the beach. During my many beach outings as a kid there were always multiple sandcastle competitions going on. Oh, they're having fun! I love Ashley's like cute laugh face. She's so cute. 
I've seen like people do some crazy sand castles or like stuff out of snow for competitions and it's like damn <laughs> I feel like snow is easier well it's probably kind of hard but it's still easier than sand and in front of me our own Funplex uh, fabricators entered the fray with Naomi being our arcade builder and Ashley with all her cosplay craftness it's no wonder why these two are up <laughs> for the sandcastle challenge as I jog to them I see Ashley laughing over her castle and Naomi miraculously me measuring something on her uh, citadel how goes the castling? Amazing. great did you see all those amazing sandcastles? they're all so cute I'm so happy that they're having a fun and creative time Probably made sand castles aren't cute, Ashley. <laughs> Naomi's getting competitive. <laughs> oh, then what are they, Naomi? I love this face. Ashley has so many cute expressions. Like, I can't. Assuming they're not made by kids for funsies, a proper sand castle can be structurally a structural masterpiece. Wonderful. Uh, no, he's taking this very seriously. <laughs> Every grain of sand must be in its proper spot, or the whole thing comes crashing down. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Naomi says this with complete, <laughs> without lifting her eyes away from her castle. She's so completely focused that I don't think she's blinking even. Uh, what exactly are you doing, Naomi? Let me explain. I'm making each of uh, um. And Borussia is eco <laughs> ecosystem around the tower. Otherwise, it'll be all a astronomical metrical mess. Oh, she's trying to make it like as accurate as possible to like a real castle. Makes sense. I take a moment to actually appreciate the their castles. Naomi's is the structural masterpiece. Straight. <laughs> that's a lie. Perfect edges meet mould, flat walls which produce an almost perfect medieval castle. Uh, she even added an ocean water mount to complete with a drawbridge. <gasps> I love making a little water mount around the castle. I remember one time when we were at the beach, uh, beach as kids and like my brothers kept digging to make a really good mount in hopes that like the sand castle would survive <laughs> but it didn't <laughs> they did pretty good though I think like the one thing I definitely do with sand castles is like put she shells or like bits of seaweed as like decorative Ashley's is equally impressive too it's a soft fluffy fantasy castle the foundation is sculpted sand clouds oh damn that sounds very difficult to do but look like, very cool like an elegant castle in the sky, <gasps> very cool. Complete with spiral uh, staircases encircling slightly slanted towers. So I take it you both entered the competition. Yeah, they weren't gonna collab. It wasn't. <laughs> I don't know if it could have happened. Of course, you know it, Hawk. You should make one too. It's not too late. Yeah, I think there's still half an hour left on of the competition, and since it's amateur level, latecomers are allowed. Oh, that's quite cool. I like competitions that like just allow anyone of any level to join in. I think that makes it a lot better. But both of you have made such extraordinary castles. My architectural skills are somewhat lacking in the sand castle area. Yep. Sounds like some sad excuses. <laughs> They're like, you're gonna do this. Uh, they're probably good excuses, Ashley. It's not like we're professional sandcastlers, either, Hawk. It's not about winning. Naomi <laughs> looks over at Ashley, who's giving her a smile, uh, occupied by a questioning look. Okay, it's a little bit about winning. I mean, I'm super tryharding this and trying to win with a perfectly constructed little castle. But for me, mostly it's about sending out a challenge for myself and completing it properly. There's nothing more satisfying than that. Yeah. Making yourself proud. That was very important. Good good life lessons, Naomi. Plus, we'll be here helping you do it. How do you plan on helping me start a sandcastle while you're completing your own? That sounds difficult. We're almost done anyway. 
Yep. I think the only thing I don't like about sand castles is the fact they're made out of sand and I don't really like sand. <laughs> but there is some really cute looking ones though. Uh, if we have three, uh, three castles in the competition then that's one more chance for us to bring home the gold. Yeah. What even is the prize? It'll be fun, come on join us. Yes! Join us, Hog, join us! Hand over that tiny plastic shovel. <laughs> I'd rather help you both out. No thanks, Hog's go back here. No, tight. pass me that tiny plastic shovel. When I was younger I remember watching sand sculptures uh, carefully craft their castles. I would watch for hours just staring in awe. I made my fair share of them too. Trying to immaculate, imitate the professionals, but they were never <laughs> more than just lumps of sand vaguely indented shapes. I'm not that competitive, but like Naomi said, it's just for fun, so why not? Gonna need a bucket, a melon bowler, and a funnel to stack. <laughs> this is Spirit Hog. Just put on the finishing touches on mine, I'll help you get the base started. Maybe Ashley and I dig out, uh, dig our hands deep in the sand starting shoveling and pouring and stretching. I don't know why the thought of like digging your hands in sand like just made me shiver a little. I don't know it's just like maybe I didn't know I kind of had this one as a kid but I don't really remember much from my childhood but like Sand is just one of those textured things where it's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. It's the same with like, um, you know, like nails on chalkboard and stuff like that. It just makes me want to like, I know, bite something to like get rid of the uneasiness. I don't know. I feel, uh, <laughs> don't bite my own finger. <laughs> it's the same with like, um, wool some wool things like really make me uncomfy so what are you going to name your castle huh you can't just make a sand castle and not give it an epic name cast the most anakin <laughs> it's, uh, it's coarse and rough and gets everywhere <laughs> i am anakin <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered that exact scene uh, from the movie. It's so good. But yeah, that's me. So beautiful. Uh, my soldering iron is named Melty. My multimeter is named Zappy. My rum burner is named Sir Rumbleus. <laughs> Rumbleus the third. Maybe not something quite as grand for mine. How about the Funplex? I mean, I also quote that I always have the higher ground, so like, no, that's not Anakin, that's, but like, I'm just saying, Star Wars movies have had an influence on me, even though I've probably only watched like two of them. No, technically three. Both that know me, <laughs> actually I know me burst up laughing. That's very appropriate, the Funplex is practically a castle, right? What if we make it look like the Funplex? <gasps> That'd be so go good. Obi Wan, don't try it, Casper. <laughs> <The higher ground. laughs> don't try it. You underestimate my power. <sighs> I've seen that. Like I watch videos like that sometimes. I saw someone recreate that in Animal Crossing. <laughs> uh, it's it's. I don't know why it's such a referenced scene, but it's so good. Actually. Looks like it, kind of. That's because the funplex, the funplex is just a box and we've only made the foundation of the ca your castle. Try the pride, double the fall. <laughs> oh man, there's like, there's so many good memes you can make from the Star Wars movies. But especially that one. There's also like, um, I probably put it in the Discord at some point, but someone <laughs> replaced some of the wording of Anakin's speech, and it comes out like, "I love my homies far and wide. I love my homies all the time," or <laughs> something like that. 
There's like another one with Obi Wan. I'm just gonna look up the Star Wars memes from that movie now. Like when I'm done later. What if we can carve in the sign and the double front doors? And then we have Lee putting up the details in the sandcastle complex while Ashley and I cheer on. <laughs> that looks so good, Naomi. You are so good at having steady hands. Yeah, you really do need to have steady hands if you're like soldering. You really should join me in making some cosplay. You'd be great. <gasps> you know what she'd be so good at is like making um, cosplay items or like things that required like detail on like a small object. Like she'd be so good. I want to go watch the prequels now. <laughs> I feel like Star Wars is definitely like one of those types of films that like you need to watch with other people or like stuff like me. Maybe that's just me, but like sometimes there's some films where it's like watching it alone. I'm like, uh, I I don't really enjoy this. But like if I'm with people, I'm like, we go and do this. But I'm not sure if I can handle all the pressure of people looking at me. I usually work alone, you know. You don't have to do it at a con or anything, you can just get dressed up and prance around the forest. Yeah, you could probably do like some cosplay stuff with Ashley. Even if it's like at your own place or something like that. That could be kind of cool. That's a bit more my style. Well, except maybe the bugs and the poison ivory and stuff. We continue chatting as we can construct the sand ca fun castle. Grain by grain. <laughs> it takes... Uh, it takes... Uh, Se a semblance of a semblance of the actual complex. We managed to finish it in time before the judging commences. Here comes the judge. The officiant of the car uh, sandcastle challenge comes towards us and looks over the castles with the arbiter's eye. They glance over ours and nod in respect of a job well done. I didn't even realize I was holding my breath in <laughs> and pitch antip anticipation. And once the sandcastle judge leaves us, I let out a huge sigh. I think that's a good sign, right? The nod. That means we did. We did it. We're gonna win. I mean, also sometimes with these competitions, they like. Um, there could be like a random pro sandcastle builder that like, gets the prize or like um, some kid could get the prize or something like that, I don't know. It's it's really up in arms of who would get it. Uh, there's still many others out there to judge but I'd say a nod counts as a nicely as a compliment. But which one? Whose scan skills were uh, Regine Supreme? Are you winning, son? <laughs> Yay! It's so cute. Yay, we won the sandcastle. Oh, what do you think? Who's the winner winner chicken dinner? Who, me? I'm not a judge of fine sandcastles. Just do it for funsies. Let's hear what you think. Um, I don't want to pick to between them. <laughs> I want to say the funplex because like we all worked on that together and like that's what makes it great because we all did our part. I don't want to like pick between them because they're both so good in their own right. The three of us did such a good job on our sandy arcade I'm, and I'm so proud of it. Uh, how could we not win with this? Right, it's the most accurate uh, re <laughs> replication I've seen of the funplex. Such a hard choice, yeah. Oops. It's also the only replication of the funplex. <laughs> I wonder how far it would be to fix the tiny little sand cabinets in there. Very hard. <laughs> Not as difficult as running the tiny sand ticket counter. <laughs> I'm glad the fun like this is not actually made out of sand. Imagine the constant constant sand in your pants. No, thank you. I think the worst thing is like having sand in your socks <gasps> or your shoes. Oh, and it's like in your feet and your toes. 
I mean, like, if he's just walking on it, fine. You got sand, you're walking on sand. I'm fine with it. But it's like in your socks and in your shoes. It's like, no. Especially your shoes. Ugh. Ugh. Don't like it. I really am Anakin. <laughs> I don't like sand. <laughs> I think they just finished tallying up the scores. We rate not so patiently as a judge makes their round across the beach. I see them stop next to a particularly dramatic looking sandcastle. Yep. You know there was a pro sandcastle maker that was just happened to be there. Pulling out a bright blue ribbon, they prop it up next to the castle. Which means... Oh, poops. <laughs> That's accurate. Double poop. I don't feel too down. If it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. Very prog uh, pragmatic of you. Look, we did it have a blast though. Yeah, that's the most fun about it. But I hate losing. <laughs> we'll get them next year, Naomi. Maybe all three of us should join forces again and we can build the best sandcastle this beach has ever seen. <gasps> we could build like a really big sandcastle. Uh, we should spend more time practicing more, <laughs> which means more beach for trips. Damn right, I like that, I'm in. Great, next year Team Ashley is gonna uh, eradicate <laughs> the competition. I think you mean Team Naomi. You two can fight it for that next year. I think I'm covered in enough sand for a while. I'm gonna see what I uh, see about being less sandy. I hear you, but Naomi and I uh, aren't done here. We got more. one more last thing we gotta do. What's, oh, what's that? Destroy our creation! <laughs> uh, I'll leave you to it then. That sounds like fun. I am a mighty dragon. Fear me, tiny sand people. <laughs> I love them both so much. I love them. Oh, they're both so great. Both so cute. Uh, both of them smile wildly at each other and laugh. Walking away, I can hear sounds of just. There's a station behind me. <laughs> they were so ready for that. I imagine Naomi, Naomi being like, I'm a giant robot. <gasps> that would be a great cosplay if Naomi was like a gigantic robot and Ashley was like Godzilla or something like that. That would be so cool. I peek back one last time to see <laughs> the sandcastles come crashing, crashing down before my eyes towards. I mean, it's best to like destroy your own creation than have someone else destroy it. So what's next? I'm sorry, Jupiter, but gotta go check on Gavin and Queen Bee. Uh, Queen Bee and Gavin have taken up a friendly little sports competition here in the sand. I bet it's not friendly. It were the both crazy competitive. Like, I know Gavin's like really into those pinball machines and winning that and Queen Bee's already competitive. I bet it's like super anime intense. <laughs> it's like a full on anime. Like, you won't beat me with my special attack and then just like slam it. But what if they're both terrible at sports? <laughs> Be equally funny. Uh, beach volleyball has always been a favorite part of pastime of beachcomers. It's fun, competitive, and it's not, uh, what's not to love about watching athletic people show off their, uh, skills. Skills indeed. We love skills here. They're very, uh, nice, you know? I don't know why, like, beach volleyball or volleyball in general will always make me think of IQ now. Granted, when my family got together to play, we just ended up hitting the ball around and never really kept track of points. Yep, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, we love skills. <laughs> nice, sweaty skills and nice, cute uniforms. So many sports games have such cute uniforms, so maybe that's just me. I think they're really cool. It's always something I enjoyed, even if it wasn't, even if I wasn't very good at it. Maybe Gavin and Queen Bee will let me join in the fun. Um, maybe. If I'm lucky, I'll get to bump and set and spike it. Oh no, they're too hot. They're too hot for us. They're too hot for the sun. 
A jug closest to them, Gavin, is occupying the far half of the court. Queen, uh, closest to me is Queen Bee's side of the sand court. They, they got really good skills. It's easy to see both of them have expressions of sheer determination on their faces. Oh no. <laughs> they, I bet they've gotten crazy competitive. I just love this cute little patch of hair on Gavin's chest. Um, I just really like it. Gavin is cool, calm and collected while Queen Bee screaming ear to ear. <laughs> Both revealing uh, reeling in the contest. Uh, each is in on it to win it. Take some uh, some sort of cr <laughs> a catastrophic event for one of them to back down like a tsunami. <laughs> no. Why did two of the most competitive people end up together at this event? <laughs> like they just no matter what they're gonna do, it's gonna be hella competitive. It even when uh, then I bet they'd be buffing the volleyball back and forth while fighting against the wave. But this momentous one-on-one -on -one between the two of the most competitive fiends. It's unnecessary <laughs> to explain Queeby's cutthroat nature, but Gavin's his uh, ambition is just as fierce even if it's less vocal. He's, he kind of reminds me of like um, when I play with my friends, one of my friends just goes in the zone and she goes completely quiet when we play Mario Kart. She's like in the zone. She's completely quiet. She like occasionally laughs like when she's winning and you know like if she's winning, winning really really good she'll be completely silent and then she just wins and it's like oh my god like we're yelling at each other and we're like who's in first place? Who's in first place? And she won't say anything and <laughs> she'll just go and it's like oh my gosh like she's completely silent while she does it. Uh, it's just so funny. So that kind of reminds me of that. I bet Gavin's like, he won't say any trash talk, but like, he is concentrated. He is ready to win. He do everything for the Fontex to succeed and he's taking that same attitude at, to beach sports. I think he does that with like, everything in life. I show you're ready for this next serve. F yeah. <laughs> I love you, Queen Bee. <laughs> you better believe it, pretty boy. He is a very pretty boy. I'm ready to spike this ball so hard it'll quake you beneath your beep feet. Excellent. <laughs> oh, they both have such pretty competitive smiles. Let's just watch the match. Like, we don't need to take part. This is why she's two very beautiful competitive people play, to play against each other, though I would be slightly worried. Queen Beep. <laughs> That's true. I would be slightly worried that like um, they might get too competitive and we might have to stop them but for now let's just watch. This is, this is fun. Ha, if anything like your last attempt to score I'll win this match in record time. Yeah this is very anime. <laughs> That's enough talking. I think shut it and serve. Hi Queen Be Eat this. Oh, I guess not. Maybe I'll just try Gavin. I get not a day queen bee. Maybe it was a mistake coming over here. <laughs> oh, this is a, the boofs are ready to fight. I'm not sure I'm gonna get a word in until this whole OD is over. I bet like one of them's gonna score. They're gonna yell at each other and then notice us and be kind of like, who scored that point? And I'm just like. I was not paying attention to sport, uh, points, I was paying attention to skills. Just put me in the middle. <laughs> yep. Just be in the middle and be like, hey, hi. Hi. I can get you guys some waters. Actually, I should do that in a bit. <laughs> get myself some water. Water. Uh, their concentration is so intense, game face is on and they see nothing but competition before them. Uh, I might as well take this time to watch them play. Happily, hopefully, they notice, they'll notice me. Gavin gracefully executes an underhand serve with the volleyball and glides it over the net, mere meters, millimeters above it. In all fairness, it was a perfect serve, but Queen Bee returns it with a dip, uh, 
di uh, a dig up high. With enough time, she easily squares up her pose and strikes down towards Gavin's side of the court. Gavin doesn't have enough time to respond. It falls harder into the sand. Queen Bee claps and stomps her foot on the ground in unison. Victory! Ace! <laughs> I love how grumpy she was. She's like, oh, I won. Technically, it's not an ace. An ace would uh, be a point scored off a flawless serve. <laughs> Queen Bee laughs and sticks out her tongue. <laughs> She's like, mm, you're just bitter because I won. Technically, it's putting me in the lead. Oh, it went on the bullets quite some time, both of them uh, volleying balls and serving quips. Meanwhile, I stood by. All I could do is nothing but look, look on longingly. I just wanted to play. Uh, not much. I'm not complaining much though. Damn rails, got some. This is this is also good. This is also good. Both Queen and Gavin are the most athletic of the crew. That makes sense. <laughs> when does Gavin do these sports? When does Queen Bee do these sports? I mean, it makes sense that like they both be pretty good and competitive, but like, when do they both have the time for this? Oh well, let's just say the sand isn't the only st hot stuff around here, to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's very hot. Uh, so watching them glisten with <laughs> sweat drops down their bodies, yeah. That isn't really a problem for me. Nope. Not at all. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with this. Maybe it's just me, but like, I also kind of like that thing where it like... Um... Just... I like that as well. <laughs> I don't want to describe that. That's too embarrassing. I just like that kind of thing too. It's enticing and the game play isn't that bad either. Yeah, sometimes like seeing two very skilled people play together, like this is so good. Even though I've been standing there for well over ten minutes, neither of them have acknowledged my presence. This is until Gavin hits the ball straight in my direction. It soars all the way back to the corner of the court and lands right by my feet. QB turns around to see where the ball fell. A hook. That was outright. Oh, now I get no I knew it. I knew it. I think not. That was clearly on the line, Queen Bee. The point is mine. No, it wasn't. It was completely out of bounds. You might want to get your prescription on those glasses checked out if you can't even see that. Uh, yep. Damn it. They're involving me in the mess. Oh. <laughs> Please. Oh no. You both are very good and I like you both. Please, please don't make me decide this. If I were next to Hog, who will undoubtedly confirm this fact, you clearly had the best uh, vantage on it. Tell us what you saw. Uh, sure. I'm calling it now. This is for the win. If the ball is in, Gavin gets effing bragging rights for the rest of the day. If it's out, then I win. All I have to do is make it the goal. Uh huh. Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Yes. I wasn't paying attention. You both win. <laughs> I'm not choosing between you guys. It's like no. If you want to argue about this, you can argue about this. But I was definitely not paying attention to the. Where the ball landed, like, I was a bit attention to other things, more important things, very nice things. <laughs> I think that's quite accurate. I was a bit attention, you both win? The line itself is on a thin rope cord held by a simple tent peg. So I can see why it would be hard to tell if the ball fell around it. I have no idea, it happened so fast. I was expecting to be in line the line judge for this. So I wasn't watching closely, sorry. I can I don't think I can call it either way. How about we call it a draw? <laughs> Both Gavin and Queeby look at each other, each shrugging, flowering, uh, frowning, humming. 
and having an entire non-verbal conversation. They're like trying to process the information that I've been like, I want to win, I want to win, but it is understandable that you don't know. They're like <laughs> trying to calm down. Oh no, I don't know if I made things worse. We agreed. This is a draw for now. <laughs> okay, thank god. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, they're like both competitive and like really determined to do stuff, but like, they both still care about people, and they won't they won't be jerks about it. Like, they do they're really nice. They won't be mean to anyone. They'll be like, okay, that's fair. We can settle this later. In the meantime, let's take a break. We each nod our heads in agreement as I quickly grab a couple of water balls laying laying on the sideline and toss it them at them. Yep, we were ready. We were ready. <laughs> they gladly chug, gladly chug down the waters and smile widely. I wish I could watch this. Thanks to the water hook. And it's him, guys. No problem. Yeah, I went to the quite a sweat playing. This hit the effing spot. That's no problem, guys. I'm I'm here for that. Don't worry about it. Still, I really want to play some beach volleyball. Guess it's not gonna happen now. <laughs> Both of them look quite content and relaxed in the chat in the sun for now. As if reading my mind, Queen Le leans down and picks up the ball and throws it directly at me. Think fast hawk. I would... <laughs> in real life, I would just be like, ah! <laughs> like, I would try and catch it, but like, yo... I'm not that coordinated. Bump it, set it. Spike it. Bop it. Spike it. We threw it high enough that I could totally pull off a badass spike. I take a quick step before launching myself in the air. Uh, palm connects to the ball and darts back at Queen Bee. She bumps the ball over together, forming a triangle. Uh, we continue healing it back and forth. Ah, this is nice. This is exactly how my family would play. We'd all stand around and hit the ball at each other, trying to keep it from touching the ground at all costs. It is really fun to play. Uh, Gavin, Queen Bee and I really get into it and several times one of us sends, <laughs> ends up diving to get the ball and get a face full of sand. Uh, I like that sand swept look you've got going on you pretty boy. <laughs> I can see you on the summer cover of Minnesota. If you're not carry careful I'll carry you to the ocean and throw you in. Gavin, you can carry me. Oh, okay, please carry me. Then you'll be sporting a <laughs> drowned rat look. <laughs> uh, I'm glad they're getting along. Laughing aside, Gavin and Queen Bee while, play and Queen Bee while playing uh, beach volleyball makes me feel gr so grateful for these friends. It was worth a lot having to stand around for a while. What a perfect morning on the beach. We play a few... Uh, a few more rounds of sand and <laughs> that is lava before we let the ball crash into the beach one last time. A uh, very nice return, Hawk. You should join us for the next match. I would if <laughs> I didn't have other stuff I wanted to do. There's too much to do here. And I've got a plan accordingly. I hear that. Walking forward to a stroll along the boardwalk myself. <gasps> Hints! That's a good idea to take as much as you can. I think I'll call it quits too. Show you a slow your pro uh, roll, pretty boy. You can't leave quite yet. Right, I do have a school to settle. <laughs> they both look so hot, I can't. This finishes. I lead the gladiators <laughs> to their final battle as I walk back along the beach, awaiting my next adventure. The new sun is in the sky. Honestly, it's getting super hot out here. Like, heat exhaustion, hot level. Yeah, please. Even on a hot day, please try and stay in the shade. Well, this would be a good time to migrate towards the boardwalk. It seems there's one more thing in store for our little group. Teo! Teo's back! Sorry, I got really excited there. Um, I'm gay, so... This just happens sometimes. Don't worry about it. Hit the waves, played some games, chilled with friends. 
It's a good time to be alive, Hulk. Thanks for having me along this ride. No problem, Dale. You're, you're welcome anytime, anywhere. It's no problem. Speaking of having folks along, we're all getting together uh, for a big group thing. Nomi got some kind of surprise in mind. You game? Absolutely! 100% I'll, I'll go with you anywhere. Do anything. Anyway. Great. Meet you in the shade. I wonder what this is all about. Tail. <laughs> Tail. Soon enough, the entire group has gathered. Uh, the number of shade throwing parcels has multiplied the floor to plenty of uh, a sprout for everyone. I will say one thing is uh, if you can bring like a tent or like a big. Um, not quite tent, but it's like. Uh, shade cover thing it's kind of like a tent but it doesn't have like sides where well, you can put up sides because that's a good way to like a big thing to stay out the sun with a group of friends rather than have parasols because also parasols don't always stay up and they'll fall over in the wind it's just easier to have like a tent thing that people can walk in and out of as long as it's like an open tent i can't remember what they're called uh, soon enough, the entire group has gathered. Oh, there we go. Also, new a large cloth wrapped around a bundle in the center of the group. Gather round, gather round. <laughs> Nomi has a fun game for us to play. It's lunchtime. <gasps> oh, I totally forgot about food. Food is good. Judging from the rumbling, my stomach is right on time. Yeah, when you're like. Uh, on vacation or like have a different routine for your day sometimes you like forget well at least I forget to eat if I like have a different routine I will oft like I'll get hungry but like I'll forget to eat so it was important have some food the bundle is unwrapped revealing series of the simple wooden lunch boxes in a traditional Japanese style each one painted a different color oh it's so cute as a way of saying thanks for all the hard work and your support. Please enjoy these botched lunches, courtesy of the Funplex. Oh, Nomi! And me. I made them. Nomi, you're so talented! Thank you, Nomi! An authentic Nomi uh, brand bento signed me up. Damn right! I reach for a, a box and she smacks my hand away lightly. <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, that would, that would definitely happen. <laughs> Not yet, Hawk. I made this special egg. Everybody has a personalized lunch filled with their favorite things. Gavin, if you'd be kind enough to describe them, names are written on each lid. Oh, Naomi! That's so sweet! She pers- Oh my gosh, that takes so much effort as well because you have to cook so many different foods for like people's different favorite foods. Naomi, you're so good! You're so sweet! I just can't get over that. Like that that would take so much effort. Naomi's Naomi's a super good one. We love Naomi. Sh uh sure enough. On second glance I can see the names and the little cartoon doodles uh, representing each person. Okay, Naomi's officially our sister because she gave us food. <laughs> she gave us the good food. Well, does my face look like, really that pathetic <laughs> okay start handing them out Gavin you first we'll see impressive plain yogurt celery sticks and some rice you know me quite well boring and nutritional <laughs> I mean dude knows what he wants I colored a bit of the outside of the lines on each one rather than sticking to traditional bento style enjoy no me that's so much work oh Oh my gosh! Yeah, that would be my reaction. Nomi, you're literally the sweetest friend ever. Sushi with tempura veggies. Oh, and a side of miso soup. And nothing more than a traditional bento box lunch. And nothing more than making them. Oh, Nomi! Fish and chips. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't eat fish, but the chips from a fish and chip shop. They're either super good or super bad. <laughs> There's like one I used to go to and like they, they have really good chips. Like, they're so good. They did really good wraps as well. Uh, with a little Union Jack in, uh, on a toothpick. And you made a movie maze out of the chips too. Oh, no me! Uh, it's not too stereotypical, is it? Quite good. I haven't found a proper chip shop stateside. Oh, that would that would bring my heart if I couldn't find a fish and chip shop. Like, I feel like every town, <laughs> almost every town in like the UK, probably has a fish and chip shop or like something similar. So I'll take it. It's a nice taste, little taste of home. Oh, Naomi. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, Queen Bee. That's a good reaction. A uh, big juicy cheeseburger with french fries. My mouth is watering. Just looking at it, yum. Oh. Got lots of pink in it. Just how you like it. Oh. Queen Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. I just love the fact that she's like, F yeah, my favorite foods. That makes me so happy. <laughs> so pink, I can hear it moo. <laughs> oh, she did it the perfect way she likes as well. I love Queen Bee's reaction so much to everything. This is perfect. Peter Brid and Hummus. Oh. Love it. It's a great body that fills the belly and gives you a ton of energy. Yeah, like, sometimes you just need a meal that will, like, fill you up but also give you energy. Because, like, if you're too full up with food, it just, it's just time to take a nap. Like, it wears you out. <laughs> like, I love potatoes, but, like, sometimes I eat too many potatoes and it's like, yep, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sleep for ages now. And we have to keep your tank at full. A tired Teo is not a true Teo. <laughs> true, we must give Teo all his energy. He is a bundle of energy. Oh, how marvelous! Oh, this is lovely little finger sandwiches, some tea, and even a cupcake. Thank you, Nomi. It's very thoughtful. I mean, I probably have friends who lunch. I love finger sandwiches. I think they're really cute and tasty. Oh, Naomi, she blushing. Oh, when I eat too many carbs or cheese, I just want to sleep. That's the mood. I uh, like. Sometimes I'll do like roasted potatoes with like cheese on top, and like <laughs> it fully makes me sleep. <laughs> just cheese and carbs is like nap time. I mean, sometimes that's like all you have in the house, but like. Ugh, sleepy time indeed. <gasps> I got a peanut and jelly sandwich. Nice. Bet you consulted with Hawk on this one. I love these. Always have. Always will. Actually, I checked your Instagram and did an analysis on the <laughs> your most commonly blogged food and... Damn, Nomi also did her research. <gasps> Maybe we could get... Jupiter and Naomi together, that would be super cute. This was me. I just think this would be cute. Also, their colors kind of match together. Can't talk, busy eating. <laughs> and that leaves the one who brought us all together. Oh, look. I made you pizza bagels. No! <laughs> the pizza bagels never end. The pizza bagels, the bagels will not stop. I mean, I like making homemade pizza bagels but like <laughs> will this be no end <laughs> just kidding it's actually similar to the bento I gave you the day you started at the funplex Oh, yeah not the pizza bagels I'm, I'm glad she's joking I'm glad she's joking a little reminder of how this all started that's so cute Oh, no me, you you're the real OG. You you're the best. No me wins. 
just everything. Oh, well, thank you. Speech, speech. What? Yeah. You can make a speech before we dig it. I mean, that's the reason we're all here. I mean, I could. I am. Yeah, you are. I mean, you're doing so great before you showed up. Don't get me wrong. But, you know... There's too many hot people on the screen! <laughs> but you worked harder than any of us to make the Funplex a success it is today. Oh, I was content to keep it afloat. I didn't think we'd ever manage more than that. But you refused to be content. Oh, Gavin! We wouldn't be here at the beach if not for your success. You led us to Hawk, so yes. I think a speech would be appropriate. There's too many hot people on the screen! Effie, I've fun like fun zone rock. It really opened uh, some doors for me. I'd still be wearing that damn black L7 jacket if not for you. Oh, The atmosphere is so much livelier thanks to your efforts. Oh, I'm gonna... Everyone's being really sweet. This is what I mean, everyone in this game is super nice and sweet. Like, it's so difficult not to fall for them. Like, there's so many nice and sweet people. Win or lose. I'm happy to join my time with Mufi, thanks to having so many great people around me. By this point, I can't even imagine the fun picks without you, Hawk. Oh. Oh, they finally added the latest batch of emojis. Ah, <gasps> yes! I like. I like. So don't even think of leaving. If you do, <laughs> we'll probably gather up a hunting party and drag you back. No hard feelings. <laughs> I'd be fine with that. If very hot people came and hunted me down, I'd be okay with this. I'd be okay. Oh, everyone is so incredibly nice. It's, it's actually making me emotional because everyone is so sweet in this game. Like, they've written everyone so well and like, damn this is a good game. And speaking as one of uh, Hawks come home to every night, I gotta say he's doing dandy compared to before. So three cheers for the funplex. Three cheers indeed. Go ahead Hawk, you've earned the right for a speech. I'm just the silly old lady who started it. You made this happen. Oh, Can we just cry? <laughs> Not speech is us just crying and be like, I love you all. Cause this is, this is gonna tear me up. Seriously, wow. I've made big speeches before like the one at the Funplex Fun Zone, but this feels bigger, way bigger. Yep. Okay, here goes. I can't quite. Uh, I can't be a uh, manicured toast for this toast. It's big feelings or nothing. Full sobbing. The fun like effing rolls. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed in my life. It's it's cry time, but happy cry time. What do you think happened all the way to the fun like? My life is was well, something of a mess that the fun like set me straight. Well, <laughs> definitely didn't set me straight. Nope. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. You've helped me so much through these hard times in my life. I, yeah, like, the green one is very much me. Like, yeah. Each and every person here has helped us and, like, been super nice to us. Thank you. Above all, all else, thank you. Thank you all. You don't know how much this this family means to me. We are family friends. It's no great secret I was living in a state of depression before the complex. Mm, yeah. It feels real. I just assumed life was always deal me a losing hand, but now we're now through friendships with you all. Oh. I, I'm going to have to read this slowly because I, I will get really emotional right now. Fuck! I found a bright and warm... Uh, I can... something bright and warm I can rely on. Something I can be optimistic about instead of pessimistic. I'm not silly enough to believe how times are gone for good. Yeah, like, you will be depressed at other times, but you got... 
good backup now. But I know I'm surrounded by good people who can help me see them through. So thank you. You're welcome, Paul. I think a speech for all of us when I say we feel the same way. Okay, good on a roll. Let's see what next say next. Uh Fast Beach is the ticket <laughs> for rewarding ourselves. All the sunburn, greasy fruits and uh are just it's our just desserts. Uh this beach was my family's fish race. It can be ours too. Oh <laughs> We all earned this vacation. Live it to the fullest. Um I think, yeah, all this sunburn and greasy foods is our just desserts. I feel that in my heart. I feel like if I do the top one, I'm gonna, I'm just, I will cry. And I wasn't planning to do that tonight. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's, that's what I would do. I'd be, I'd be like super emotional and then I'd be like, suck, this is too emotional, I need to make a joke. I feel that's quite honest. I think it, I think not of the massive sunburn you'll be getting and we're itching to come. Not of all the funnel cakes and turning in your stomach. Not of the hangovers. Uh, live in the now. This is our moment. Our beach, Falsam Beach, means a lot to me. Take it from a veteran. Consequences are for the whips. We are more have earned our right to go nerdy and have some indefensible levels of fun here. Who wants to party? You know, I'm always down a party, hangovers be done. <laughs> don't want to have an effing good time today. <laughs> now bring it home. Uh, okay, let's kick some ass. <laughs> uh, thank you all. Thank you all for this. I love you all. This means so much to me. Yeah, I can't, I can't not say I love them. I just want to say I love you all. It means a lot to me being here with you in this place, thank you. And I said more than enough time to enjoy Nomi's thoughtful gift and eat heartily. I love you all as well, you have no idea how much it raises my spirits working alongside you or watching you all enjoy our games. Thank Hawk, thank you for this lovely day and I agree, let's dig in. The tea is calling me. This is the moment one perfect moment with all of us together, laughing, talking, and eating, and having the best time of the world. Oh, this is so sweet. Things will change after tonight when Iris' plan to find me and romance comes together. Maybe this is just the high watermark, but maybe no matter what happens, I'll only have this one perfect moment. I mean, you always have your friends, family, family of friends. Oh man, I'm really gonna need a drink. <laughs> I didn't go get some water, so I'm gonna get some water while I'm like trying to be not too emotional. Uh, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Also, I have not realized that I've been playing for like two hours and a half. <laughs> this, this game just draws me in very easily. Like, I'm so into this game. I love it so much. This is so good. Yeah, I got some water. <laughs> uh, afternoon slides in as the gang migrates from sandy <laughs> shores to bustling boardwalk. Oh yeah, my mic is on. I'm just checking. Because <laughs> sometimes I forget. Yeah. Oh no, I missed that. Uh, no need to change out of swim gear either, unless you're <laughs> going deeper into the beach town. You can just skip back and forth between the sands and the boardwalk. This is where the real action happens, shops, restaurants, and of course, arcades. Soon enough the group is splitting up to try uh, <laughs> do as much as possible. I've got time to tag along with some other of them. Who should I hang out with? Teo! Teo! It's nice to be back. 
<laughs> also, I'm happy of all the emojis you use, Goober. They're all good. I'm happy you're using some of the channel's ones. <laughs> Gavin and Ashley are checking out an arcade. Nomi and Teo are raiding a candy store. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh my god, no. Wait. Nomi and Teo and Sugar. That They're gonna be so hyper. They're gonna be so hyper, especially Naomi. <laughs> I feel like she'll just go full hyper. Queen Bee and Percy are chatting and having some funnel cake. Oh, that sounds sweet. Uh, Jupiter and Francine are shopping for souvenirs. That also sounds fun. Oh, But I gotta keep an eye on <laughs> Naomi and Teo. Also, like, I am going for Teo, so, like, let's go say hi. But <laughs> I'm so worried. Please, please tell me that. Uh, I think you also do three out of four on this one. Oh, okay. I think there's a few that, like, I probably will. I think there's one I won't do. Uh, just because. I think I'm going more for the activity, but I'm also going for Teo. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Teo and Nomi sneak into one of the shops on the boardwalk. The sandy bar. A little ironic, uh, iconic uh, saltwater taffy icons on the side. Ah, uh, saltwater taffy. A staple of uh, coastal life and comrades. What does salt water taffy taste like besides salty? <laughs> it's just like salty and sweet. Because I know we have like rock candy um, in the UK. I'm not sure if that's like the same thing. But I know like on seaside things. Oh, it is okay. Like seaside things in the UK is like rock candy mostly and like ice cream. On any given boardwork, you're within sp <laughs> spinning distance of uh, at least three candy shops loaded with tasty treats. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, but more importantly, uh, why are the these two acting so childish around this thing? <laughs> like two kids in a candy store. Because they kind of are two kids in a candy store. It's kind of like salted caramels. Oh, okay. Then I probably would love it. Because I love salted caramels. I love sweet and salty stuff. Uh, I need to find <laughs> out exactly what's going on. And more importantly, I need to see if they have any of those gummy sharks in there. <gasps> I love gummy stuff. Especially gummy snakes and gummy bears. They're so good. As I peer into the building, my senses are overwhelmed by sweet. Uh, my teeth are practically hurt <laughs> from all the surrounding sugar. I can just imagine it now. Covering the walls, the walls are assorted containers holding various types of candies, a rainbow of colours and confectioneries. I bet it's so bright in there. <laughs> Filled to the brim with saltwater taffy and, and covered in chocolates. Not only do I take note of the delectable candy, but I also take note of all the kitties running around. I can't help but be reminded of the fun flex. Same atmos atmosphere, just fewer games. I look out over to the person behind the counter and give them a nod of understanding. <laughs> yep. I feel you noble cashier in your quest to maintain peace and order. I imagine it's even more like... Actually, they're both quite equally chaotic. Nomi and Teo recognize me and wave me over. You're so cute. I don't know why I'm staring at Teo's hands, but... I like your hands, Teo! <laughs> My brain is on the floor again. Over here, Hawk. Can I help us decide what to get? Yeah, you have to like be very... If you're in a candy store, you have to be very specific about what you get. Because there's a lot of choice, but like you can only take so much with you. You also gotta think of your friends and comply and go over to them. Nomi is huddled over a table and is filling her arms with various desserts. I want one of these, two of these, and a handful of what <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh, what's over there? Oh, Nomi, you're gonna take like half the store with you. Wow! 
Candy apples? I have to get one of those too. <laughs> She's bringing the big hole. This is the best part about going to the beach. Look at how many different candies there are. I could just devour all of them. I like, maybe it's just me, but I like getting specific foods or like candies from the place I'm visiting. Like if they're like, oh, locally made food or candy, I'm like, I want to try that. Relatable no meat, yep. This is so much. Now I peg no means of having a sweet chove, but Teo, with all that dancing, I would have guessed him to stick to a healthier diet. I mean, I can see him liking sugar as well because it like gives you a burst of energy, but like I feel like he's smart enough to understand that like he can't have too much sugar. <laughs> this trip is a vacation for all of us, so maybe he's spoiling himself. Yeah. So what do you think of this place? Who, me? I've been here before quite a few times. It's most, uh, it's the most popular candy store on the boardwalk. My family and I uh, would always stop by right before the, our long drive. After a long day of swimming, uh, <laughs> swimming, walking and in the fun sun, a maximum sugar overdrive was perfect way to end the day. <laughs> They give us a fistful of dollars and cut me loose in here. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, they just let you get whatever you wanted? Dang, I wish I had your parents. I mean, my parents are kind of the same. They were like, you can have one thing, but it can't be like an expensive thing. They'd be like, you can have one thing, and then that's it. But like, there was no like, thing I wasn't allowed to get, if you go what I mean. I mean, if it was like expensive, then it would be like a big no-no, but if they were like, oh yeah, you want a couple of sweets? That's fine. Cute. I could just see young Hawk here running around, stuffing candy in his face. <laughs> I mean, that is still true. <laughs> I think actually, as I've grown and uh, grown older, I'm, I still enjoy sweets, but like, I definitely don't have them as much as I used to. I mean, I still enjoy them, but like, between like having a proper meal or some sweets, I probably probably just have like a meal because I feel like that's better. <laughs> I still like really enjoy like uh, pastries and cakes and desserts like that, but like sweet sweets, I don't know. I'm, I only like specific sweets now. Like, if someone hands me some sweets, I'd be like, yeah, but like, I probably wouldn't personally buy it. I still like sweets, but like, just not as much. I think it's because I don't like sugar as much, because I also like dark chocolate more than I- I used to like white chocolate the most. I mean, I still like white chocolate, but I prefer dark chocolate now. Uh, not gonna lie <laughs> to lie. I was a cute kid, but... Not so cute when overdosing on sweets though. Yep. And then running around and being like, oh, I want to run to the end of the pier and back again. <laughs> you know, like. Both Nobu and Teo laugh hardly. I mean, they didn't uh, give me Fort Knox to blow on snacks. But there's still a nice little reward at the end of the day. Yep. Yeah, sugar has gotten too overwhelming as an adult for me. Yeah. I think, like, there are a couple times in your life where your like taste buds kind of change. There's like, um, from when you're like an infant to a kid, from a kid to a teenager, from a teenager to like an adult. But yeah, I totally get that. I also tend to get less sweet stuff. Yeah. I still kind of like it, but it's just, I feel like it's too much for me now. Like, I can't have as much as I used to. Like, your tastes definitely change as you, like, grow older. I mean, some stuff you still really like, but, like... I know there's, like, some sweets that I think back that, like, I enjoyed the most, but if I had them now, I would probably only be able to have, like, one of them. Because, <laughs> like, it's just, it's too much. I definitely try and get stuff with less sugar in as well, because, um... <laughs> I'm reminded more in my adulthood that multiple people in my family have diabetes, so I should probably be careful of that kind of thing. But also, like, it's just too sweet. 
sometimes. Uh, how times have changed. Uh, as I am a creature of habit, I always get saltwater taffy year after year. It's the best feeling, munching on taffy while watching the waves crash on the sand. That sounds really nice. Uh, Nobi suddenly glass interpreting my recollection. What is it, Naomi? They have a uh, competo. So confused, is that a good thing? It's the best thing ever, it's these little traditional sugar candies that look like stars. They are my absolute favourite. <gasps> oh my gosh, they have star candy! Those are so. I want those. <laughs> I remember there used to be, there was like, the first time I ever saw those was like in Hamtaro. Because in Hamtaro they think they're like real stars and it's really cute. Ah, oh, those are good candies. Uh, every time my mother would uh, go to visit my family in Japan and she'd bring me back some. Oh, that's really good. Especially since like, uh, sometimes when you try and order in like, Japanese sweets because I have looked the stuff up before. Like, it costs way more for us than it would in Japan. I definitely know that much. I do like Japanese sweets though. They're so nice. Especially like the panda bear ones. I like those a lot. I can't remember what they're called right now. I think it's like Hello Panda or something. I think that's just a brand though. Uh, but it's been years since I last had some. Oh, Naomi, go for it! She squirrels the cycle theme, runs over to the little stand that has the cute assortment of pastel sugar stars. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, there's like definitely some foods or some candies that like instantly make me think of my childhood. There's like a certain flavour that's like, oh, I'm instantly my reminded of my childhood. Like specific moments in my childhood. We follow suit, make our way next to Onomi. Teo picks up a bag and brings it close to his face, examining them. Okay, these are quite possibly the cutest candies I've ever seen. That is quite accurate. Sweet! And they're so sweet. Oh, Naomi, nothing is sweeter than you. <laughs> and that's a fact. <laughs> um. That's not entirely true. Naomi, you're the sweetest person ever! You're the sweetest, nicest, but... Naomi, you made lunch for each and every one of us. Like, you are super sweet. You are super nice. Like, give yourself some credit. I have to agree with Teo, uh, no one has brought me more impromptu lunches at work than you. Damn right. Damn right. Thank you. But these candies are still the sweetest. No, no, me, you are. We're in a store of candy, <laughs> but you're the sweetest. You both should taste these, by the way. I just know you'll love them as much as I do. Aww. Teo and I agree, nod our heads, and Naomi turns around happily with an armful of candy and treats. <laughs> like a dragon with a horde. <laughs> I think that's a good way to describe Naomi. I think that's with everything, but I'm kind of the same. Like, I'm a hoarder as well. <laughs> I'm a dragon who, like, I would love to be a dragon. Anyway, but, like, I definitely sometimes hoard little things or, like, to collect certain stuff because it's just fun. Uh, she heads towards the register when a kid runs smack into her. With a colourful little expression, Candy spills everywhere and Nomi falls backwards. I instantly go to help Komi, uh, Naomi up, but out of the corner of her eye she sees the little kid who bumped into her, swiping candies off the floor and pocketing them. Hey, yeah, don't steal. It's a classic move. We all seen it. When <laughs> all the time with the tickets and the tokens at the funplex, uh, and like the arcade, this is no different. Yeah, don't don't steal kids. I remember like I feel like it's just a kid thing because I know some people are like, why are all these kids celebrating that they're stealing? I think it was like on Tumblr at some point or something like that. I was like, that's the thing that's been around for a long time. I think it's just they have more access to social media. But I remember when I was a kid and somebody was like, Oh, I'm so proud I stole something from the school. Even though the school was like, you can have whatever you want. Like, you can have a pencil. 
But you know, some people try to steal like serious stuff, like go to the store or the corner shop or something. And they'd be like, oh, look what I just stole. And it's like, you absolute bell end. <laughs> don't be stealing for shops, especially don't steal from mum and pop shops. But like, I, I don't know. I think it's just one of those things kids have to be taught not to do. Uh, it's overused. Tear even sees it, elbows me and points it out to my attention. This is not my store, not my job. Do I step in or let it slide? Um, pick up the mess, point out the thief, help know me up. Um, I mean, I feel like we should tell the manager or whoever's running the store and then they decide what they do. Like, it's not our place. Like, the manager of the store as well as, like, whoever is responsible for this kid kind of thing. Uh. So yeah, I feel like we should point out the thief. I know it's not my job, but some bright, if some bright did that in the context and I didn't notice, I would want someone to do something about it. I think the kid gets caught anyway, I don't know. Maybe you can just save. <laughs> it's too late, Goober. It's too late. <laughs> In some games, you can like scroll back to your decisions. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> it's fine. I saved like a bit ago, so I could probably like reload that, but yeah. Plus, stealing ca candy is the worst possible crime one can commit. I would say one thing about stealing, and this is just me personally, if someone steals who can afford to buy the item, that pisses me off. But if someone steals, say, bread or like food that would be used to like feed people and meals and they can't afford to buy food as like a basic. Like they, they just can't afford any kind of food. I'm not angry with that. I'm more like we should try and help this person than punish them. But if someone, say a kid who can afford sweets or like their parents just won't give them money because they've already had sweets or it's like their pocket money or you know what I mean, like parents won't give them money for a certain reason and then the kid steals. I am not okay with that. Or people who steal who like can afford things, that pisses me off. But if someone is legit stealing because they can't afford food or they're like homeless, I don't say anything. I don't say a word. But if someone who I know has money steals, I tell them off. I get fucking angry at them because I'm not okay with that. Especially if it's like People who steal stuff at conventions make me so mad because it's like, you could afford that. Or you're stealing merchandise um, from people. It is not a necessity. It is a, um, a leisure item. It's a, like, it's a pleasure. It's an item that isn't necessary to your survival. It is, uh, I can't remember what you call it. But you know what I mean? Like, that pisses me off so much. Especially when it's from like small businesses or people who like, run their own business and they're only like a couple of people or one person but but if it's like yeah luxu luxury but if it's like um groceries or stuff like that it's like i don't say anything <laughs> because in a way it's not my place but also like i feel like it would not be okay this is me uh, save for like murder or grand theft auto. <laughs> okay, so there's an awful lot of crimes, but this one takes the cake, so to speak. Hey kid, turn out your pockets. <laughs> what you want? I ain't doing nothing. I saw the stuff, <laughs> those candies in your pockets. Look at them bulging out. You ain't tricking anyone. I would s <laughs> one last thing. One time I went into a Sainsbury's, which is like a store, 
and like I did buy <laughs> my items but I forgot to bring like a reusable bag and like I didn't want to get a bag a plastic bag because I knew I already had like a whole bunch of bags at home so I just put everything in my pockets and I looked hella suspicious but like <laughs> I paid for my items I just forgot my bag <laughs> my friend was like it looks like you stole from the store I'm like shut up I paid for these items I have a receipt <laughs> it just looked really stupid like you could obviously see what was in my like pockets as well like I had a bread loaf in my <laughs> well like on my big pocket on the front of my jumper <laughs> and stuff it was really stupid my friend was like I don't want to walk next to you and I'm like then lend me a bag <laughs> I know you have bags in your bag <laughs> oh my gosh we're kind of failing as a society when we could end the world hunger and homelessness if we wanted to but though yeah there's enough houses enough food but we create a uh, artificial scarcity out of greed yeah that's very true like I hate when people are like oh there are houses they can go there and it's like no because the system's designed in a specific way that food does go to waste and housing goes to waste I just hate it especially when I see like empty houses that aren't like collapsing but like could be used to house someone or they just like show houses and stuff like that and it's like but the prices are so expensive and it's like I can totally understand why nobody wants to live there or like people couldn't live there because it's like quite pricey I mean even if you look up like the uh, status of like how much uh, food goes to waste every year and like if I have to throw food out I like feel incredibly guilty but like businesses have to throw out even more food and it's just like so much goes to waste and it makes me really mad but like I don't know I know there's no easy solution to it but like people and like organizations and stuff like that definitely do try and make an effort towards it but there are some people who just like oh that's not my problem and it's like you should care about other people like we live as a society because we have to work together but like, especially if you look up like um, the guy who owns Amazon and the guy who's the CEO at Activision Blizzard and EA and stuff like that and they earn like billions every year. I think the guy who owns Amazon earns like billions, um, I think it's less than it. He learns like a lot in a hour compared to like anyone else who would work for a very long time or like for a year and I don't know some people just don't need that much money <laughs> you know what I mean it comes to a ridiculous point where it's like if you lived for 200 years you'd still have money left over like no one person needs that much money anyway I'm getting into stuff too much right now I saw you all those stuff, those candies in your pocket. Look at the bulging out. You're not tricking anyone. The kid looks like they want to say this, but now the cashier has said two, then the kid turns out his pockets. There's a lot more than just what they got from the spill. Uh, with more tack than I could possibly muster, the cashier tells and to kindly exit the sandy bar, uh, bar and the kid complies. The cashier and I exchange knowing glasses we are one of the same yep I don't know it's like sometimes <laughs> when you meet people who do like similar stuff to you or like I know a lot of artists who like have the same kind of issues and it's like <laughs> it's a, we're doing different stuff but like we both understand like how annoying certain stuff is like you just know Well, after that excitement, I'm ready to relax on the beach and eat some of this candy. Damn right. Me too. Me three. But I can't quite leave just yet. There's still one thing I, ha I must do. I need to get some... <laughs> I forgot I need my name Awu. Also, <laughs> I love how Awu is just on Teo. <laughs> uh, I need to get some salt water. Tahiti is 
and a, a Wu family boardwalk tuition. Tuition, after all. Imagine if your last name was a Wu. I I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, we can't break tradition. Although if we do, I wouldn't mind starting a new Funplex beach tradition with you. <gasps> Teo, please. This is one of the most delic delicious decisions the Hawk has t to make. <laughs> And the correct answer would be for him to choose the cotton candy ones. Cotton candy flavoured taffy? Really? I wouldn't joke about something as serious as this. But it's like sickingly sweet. Yeah, sometimes- have you ever like bitten into something that's so sweet you're just like, I'm good. <laughs> you can just take one bite and you're like, yep, I'm good for the day. I'm gonna slowly eat this one by all uh, bite by bite uh, for the next two months because it's just so sweet like in one bite you feel like you've had like your whole daily intake of sugar <laughs> I mean there's definitely had like greasy food where it's like yep yeah, that's that's probably like I should stop <laughs> even I can't handle it and I can handle a truckload of sweet it's because you are the sweetest boy ever yeah, there's some stuff that's so sweet it's like almost bitter and it hurts your throat. Yeah! I know like, um, I've had really sweet drinks that just like, I just couldn't. <laughs> I can handle sour though, I like sour stuff, but like, ooh, sometimes it's it's just too much. What do you choose then? Buttered popcorn, obviously. It's a little salty with my sweet. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, but it's like Scarlet. I'm much more of a purist. <laughs> Getting in a fight over taffy flavor isn't necessary. Both taste great, uh, but I already know what's going home. I'm going home with. What's that hog? Grab bag. Bud popcorn does sound pretty good though. Oh, this does sound pretty good. Does Teo... Does, does Teo have his thumb in his sweet s swim 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 swim? I'm... I'm... Um... <laughs> I have to take a screenshot, guys. I'm sorry. Don't, don't look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... My brain stopped. Oh, my face is actually going red. That was stupid. I shouldn't. No. Stop. Focus on the flavors of taffy. Focus on taffy. Not Tails' hands. They have very nice hands. Anyway, this is a good bottle of popcorn because there's no recovering from this. To please my palate, I have a, a more complex profile of flavors. I agree with Tails. Nothing beats butter, butter popcorn. That does sound really good. Excellent. I respectfully disagree with your opinions. <laughs> but this is meant for more cotton candy taffy for me. Yeah, that is... I like cotton candy itself, but having it as an, in a flavour and something else just... It sounds like too much. Uh, I think that about covers it. Shall we blow this popsicle stand? I love saying that. Oh, they have popsicles too. Once again, Nomi <laughs> got her arms filled with the brain with candy and she nods enthusiastically. Teo picked out some of his favourites too. I want to know what their favourite candies are. I just, I want to know more about them. I want to know when each character's birthday is. I, I don't know what it is about knowing that or like knowing their heights. I just like knowing silly facts about characters because they love them. Uh, we all take turns in line before we know it. Uh, we're happily carrying out our sash with us on the boardwalk. Oh, I almost forgot. She stops abruptly and digs out the bag for a moment to pull out some compendo. Yes, I've been waiting. <laughs> what? Uh, wanting one since you pointed them out. Yep. Nomi opens the bag. Both uh, Teo and I pick out one. Popping the sugar star in her mouth. Both of us smile wide, enjoying the sugary goodness. Love it. Oh, it's so yummy. For real, Nomi. This is my new favorite candy. See, we should have brought a bag for ourselves because now we're gonna love it. 
and we want more. <laughs> but this is Naomi's candy. It's very good. Maybe next time I'm at the sandy bar, I'll get some of these instead of taffy. Next time I'm here because the Fonflex writing high in the world, I bet we could afford a next time and another and another. Oh, it could become like a tradition for our family. It would be so cute. This is our family of friends from the Funplex. There's like three Fs. Thank you for introducing me to a whole new world of flavor, Naomi. Anytime, Teo. Maybe I can change your mind on candy and convince you to dance a little <laughs> later on the showtime stage. It's, it's a delicate... <laughs> it's in a delicate cabinet. I mean, the only problem with that is that you'll have a sugar high and then you'll just crash. Uh, but I wouldn't want to get <laughs> get to see you as much on the Funplex fun floor. <laughs> Very true. F F B uh, W B F. What does that stand for? <laughs> I feel like I said it, but I can't. My brain. I'm focused on other things. I got my candy haul, so my work here is done. I got places to be. <laughs> and I wanted to spend some time uh, taking in the sea breeze. Catch you later. I need to clear up my senses of sugar too. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later, Hulk. Uh. Uh, family of friends with benefits from the funplex with the funplex. Oh, yep, <laughs> that is accurate. Uh, once alone, I open my bag of saltwater taffy, pick one out, and eat it. I will commence uh, the. T I let the ta taste fully consume me. Now this is the perfect vacation. Who to hang out with? I want to go to get some souvenirs! Jupiter and Francine are looking at a shop of... Ugh. My brain is melting. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take another break and get more water again. I'm not used to reading aloud this long. Actually, what time is it? I really want to finish this game today, but I'm gonna have to stop at some point. Yeah, you've been streaming for three hours. I also said I would check up on Caleb's stream before he finishes. So I might... You're not gonna finish it today. Okay, so I, I might as well stop because... Um... I cannot stop. <laughs> but like, if I play more, I know I'm gonna play for like another hour. This is far from the end. Okay. I will probably play more... Um... <gasps> prizes! I'll probably play more... Um... On Saturday or something like that? I don't know exactly how long it is, but you can get an idea if you look at the achievements. Oh, okay. Prizes! Oh, the boardwalk hit the lever. New game plus. Uh, kill screen. Oh, so there's a boardwalk. Then another thing. Also, oh, I absolutely love this. I love it so much. But yeah, I probably like. I'll probably play more on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, there's at least four more chapters. Oh my god. <laughs> I was very optimistic when I thought like, oh, I could probably finish this today. I was I was way too optimistic. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'll probably play more on um, Saturday and Sunday. But I absolutely love this and I, I do really want to finish it because I'm so into it right now. But I have to finish um, New Vegas at some point as well. 
Anyway, let's go check up on Caleb. I love this game so much. I love it so much. That's cool. 